Hello and welcome to 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and this is my thank you stream for 1,000 subscribers, which admittedly we hit a while back. But uh, this game has a lot of significance to me, so um, the idea I had was to play this whole game front to back in one stream. So we'll see how long it takes. Um, I'm fairly familiar with this game because I played this a lot in my childhood, a lot. And uh, I've only beaten Sigma though, I think twice in my life. So we'll see. We'll see how long it takes to get through everything. Um, I think it'll be. I think it'll be just fine. But uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I, I hope to show you guys why this game is amazing, and hopefully you will enjoy it. The little demo at the beginning doesn't play music. That's so weird. But anyways, I'm playing this on a um, analog Super NT on a real Super Nintendo cartridge. It's outputting in glorious 1080p. Of course, it's only streaming to you in uh, 720. But let me, sh let me assure you, it looks looks great from where I'm sitting. Uh, I do have the clear one, analog NT, so the controller is all sweet and translucent like. The whole console is like that. It's kind of stuck behind things right now. There's not a great way for me to show it to you, but it is a solid place for me to play. Alright, we got a bunch of folks in here already. Let's take a look who's, uh, who's already watching. We got Solid Vape, we got Nintendo Forever, we got Mr. Buffalo, Joseph DePotter. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Okay... Let's do this. Oh, I guess I should actually show you the little cutscene of the beginning. I should reset it and have you guys see that because this game is actually heavily based on a story. Unlike many of the other Mega Man games, which have about yet yeah, this much story. So this is like the Mega Man's operating system coming online 2105, 2109, 2114. Not a lot of cash there, talking about kilobytes, so in the 90s we just couldn't. However, the memory, look at that, memory's in terabytes. Wow. So, okay, they, they did have a good uh, imagination then. Love this beautiful full screen art of Mega Man X there. Looks great. I know right now it's just kind of telling you little bits about Mega Man, but the, there's actually a story that I'll read out when it starts doing its little alarm business. David's here. What's up, David? Also, Chelsea. Warning. X is the first of a new generation of robots, which contain an innovative new feature, the ability to think, feel, and make their own decisions. However, this ability could be very dangerous. If X were to break the first rule of robotics, a robot must never harm a human being. The results would be disastrous, and I fear that no force on Earth could stop him. Approximately 30 years will be required before we can safely confirm his reliability. Unfortunately, I will not live to see that day, nor do I have anyone to carry on my work. Therefore, I have decided to seal him in this capsule, which will test his internal systems until his reliability has been confirmed. Please do not disturb the capsule until that time. X possesses great risks as well as great possibilities. I can only hope for the best. September 18th, 20XX, Thomas Light from the original Mega Man games. So it's a different robot. It's a different Mega Man. It is actually X. And uh, same inventor, though. Same inventor. Uh, let's see, Salt says, I decided to take a 10 to 30 minute nap, but instead of 10 to 30 minutes, it was more like 6 hours. That's called sleeping. It's just, that's just going to bed. Aiden McFarlane says, hey Jay, love this game. I'm right there with you. I love this game too. Okay, we don't need the demo anymore. We've seen the story. I figure what's in options. Maybe we can get some stereo sound. It's already in stereo. We're good. Alright, let's do it. Now, there's a couple of different paths to take. Uh, let's see... David says, I see you streaming every day when you're... Are you doing Golden Sun or Zelda A Link to the Past? I did Zelda A Link to the Past on another channel. Golden Sun would be awesome. I hope that uh, I can do that soon, someday. Joseph the Potter says, you're the best, bro. Thank you. Aiden says, you should read Light's voice with his Mega Man 8 Wowie voice. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, that's right. We have an intro level. Mega Man X introduced intro levels. The original Mega Man games didn't have those. They just kind of threw you into the game and you just kind of had to 
choose which boss you wanted right off the bat. You didn't ha you didn't have a chance to get used to the controls. This game, oh, it's so brilliant. The music, the sprite work, it's all so fantastically done. This whole first level is just training you to jump and shoot and climb walls. Those guys are going to drop stuff on top of you, so if you don't uh, jump and shoot them, you are not going to get them. Those guys, again, they are training you to jump. So they shoot things you got to jump over. So this is a very good intro level. Ooh. Yeah, he can charge a shot. But uh, if you're not used to charging shots, there's a moment later where it shows you about charging shots in an ingenious way. Again, this guy, you kind of have to jump to hit him a little bit, at least part, part of the time. And you're not quite sure what's going on. He's a mini boss. He breaks through. It changes the environment. How cool is that? And then you cannot get out of here unless you figure out you can slide and jump and do a wall jump. It's really ingenious the way that they're teaching you how the game works. So this ever streamed Twilight Princess. Yes, I have. Manly Man is here. What's up, man? This is a Mega Man game, not a Mega Man game. The Mega Man game. Mega Man X. My favorite of all Mega Man games. Buffalo says my internet went all noodly at the start. What happened to the dog? Uh, my dog had recently eaten some pork bones. So far, she's okay. May take up to 48 hours, though, to actually confirm. So, we'll see. And the man says, why do all Earthbound Mother games look old? Because they are old. What do you want? The game isn't going to just update itself. These little dudes with the long legs also teach you to jump because you cannot... Um, actually hurt them in their legs. So it also kind of teaches you that some enemies have a weak spot. Brilliant. David says, oh wow, Twilight Princess took forever to play through. Um, I feel like it was only about 25 hours when I did it. The, the first time I played through it. Personally. I mean, I didn't 100% the game, but still. Aiden says, Mega Man X had a really bad iPhone remake. I don't know if it was a remake. I think it was just kind of like a reissue type thing. But yeah, there were a lot of bad Mega Man ports on on phones, on mobile systems. I think I had one in the flip phone days that was Mega Man 2. And it was not good. <laughs> and the man says, Mother 3 literally looks older than Star Fox 64, even though Mother 3 is newer. Yeah, but Star Fox 64 is on a home console. And Mother 3 is on Game Boy Advance. So not really comparable there. Not really a system capable of 3D graphics. Kind of cool you can ride those cars. It's kind of a pointless gesture, but I like it. You turn around, and then you can just ride it on forward. Take me to your leader. It's not a very fast car, admittedly. But it works. It just runs out of steam, I guess. This first, like, semi-boss fight is really cool. Tenor versus well, the GBA was less powerful than the 64. There you go, exactly. That's how it goes when you get talking about portable systems versus home consoles. It's like when people are like, oh, but it doesn't look as good on Switch as it does on PS4. But Switch is newer. Yeah, but PS4 is not portable and tiny. And it's also not 300 bucks. Salt says, my first time playing took me like six years to beat this game. I can understand that. Uh, I don't think I even beat it in that amount of time. <laughs> I don't think I beat it until the first time until college. All right, so check this fight out. There's no health meter. And when we faced that mini boss, there was no health meter for that either. So as far as you know, that's just how boss fights work in this game. He is faster than you. He's hitting hard. He's in this giant suit. He looks like Boba Fett with a giant cannon on his shoulder. Like, this dude is hard and intimidating, and it just makes you scared. Like, ah, I can't beat this guy. He's too hard. I'm trying my best. Then if he hits you with that, and he will hit you with that, you're immobilized. And it's over. You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you think you could defeat me? What's that sound? Ba bam! There goes his arm, and Zero flies in. Oh, 
this game is so epically done. That moment right there shows you that you can charge your weapon. So if so far all you've ever done is just shot normally, you looked at that moment and went, Whoa, he charged up his gun. Can I do that? I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full power yet. Yeah, that means we're going to get more powerful. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. That's sweet to know, because, wow, Zero's just... He wrecked that dude, right? One shot. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma's fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. X, I know you can do it. Thanks, Zero. Man, Zero's cool. All right. Oh, a bunch of chats all of a sudden. Let's let's take a look here. Uh, Melee Man says I was playing Majora's Mask, and I'm still on the first temple, especially that I barely played the game. Okay. Keep playing, man. Keep playing. So this is where you get to choose, and in Mega Man games, the standard thing is you beat the boss, you get their power. That power is strong against one of these other bosses. So that's one way you can can play is you beat one boss, then you play all the bosses that are weak against that power. But there's something else that happens in this game, and I'm going to start on this Flame Mammoth level to illustrate what it is. So then there's a different path you can also take in this game. Uh, let's see, IG's here. What's up, dude? He says, have you seen the Day of Sigma? Is that the little short at the beginning of the X Legacy Collection? If so, then yes. Yes, that was good. That was good, man. And it seemed to fit just perfectly. Yoda Kid is here. What's up, man? Says, hey, how's it going? Solid Vape says, I played through it my first time, but it I warped out of Lake Hylia at the moment where you shouldn't have done that and had to restart my save. Oh, no. And the man says, they need a five guys with an arcade. That would be cool. They need everything with an arcade. There should just be an arcade every step you take in this life. Every single step. Uh, Nintendo Forever says Zero is actually the original design, design for X. Well, I'm glad that they redesigned it because obviously this looks way more like Mega Man. And secondly, it gave us a second character, which arguably is even cooler than the first one. I personally just love Zero so much. And Zero then became a main character. So as you see, we're in a lava-based level right now and in a deadly <laughs> cycle there of that little robot guy just zapping us into nothing air into the lava over and over so this lava is deadly you don't want to touch it I don't know if it kills you in one hit or not but I don't want to find out ah, see that robot is so annoying ah uh, let's see IG said that Boba Fett guy is named Vile yes he is Vile it's a good name, too. I like it. And uh, interesting, the, there was a remake of Mega Man X on PSP called Maverick Hunter, Mega Man X Maverick Hunter. And you could actually play as Vile through that entire game, and it was really cool. I highly recommend it, even though I don't like the 3D take on the art style. Um, it is still really cool to play as Vile. And then it says, Jay, do you have a hard time reading up close? No, I have a hard time reading far away. I have, uh, I'm nearsighted, so my eyes are very bad any further than about six inches away from my face, but, um, if it's within six inches, then I can see clearly. Whoa! So this is just getting ripped up, all the fire and lava in this level. <laughs> Gotta keep looking out. And look! There's an upgrade then, and I'm pretty sure you can't get this. I'm gonna go for it. Yep, look at that. Two hits and I was dead. There's no way for you to get that. The way that it is right now. Okay, I'm actually going to get myself killed. Okay, because I want to show you then what's cool about this game. 
My man says I got Majora's Mask December 2017, but it felt harder and worse than Ocarina of Time, so I gave up for a long time. It is hard. It is very difficult. It is very difficult. Solid says my breakfast is pizza today. That sounds like a great breakfast. Aiden says somebody finally doesn't choose Chill Penguin first. Good for you, Jay. Takes a lot of courage not to get the dash first. Well, I didn't want to give it away, but we're gonna do Chill Penguin first. I just wanted to show you what happens to that level. So, we're going Chill Penguin, because that is the easy choice as first boss. But from Chill Penguin, you get a couple of choices of where you want to go from there. We'll explain after we beat the level. Salt says, my breakfast is also being served around 8.46 p.m. I don't think you understand breakfast. That's, uh, that's not breakfast. It's, that's known as dinner. Or supper, depending on where you're from. Shock T is here. What's up, Shock T? He says, hello, 5J. By the way, the Simpsons arcade game is good. Nice. I don't know that I've ever tried the Simpsons arcade game. I think the only Simpsons game that I really played much of was Bart's Nightmare on Super Nintendo. And I really enjoyed... Uh, I guess not every one of but like his different dreams. Some of those dreams were like a lot of fun. The one where you're Bartman flying around, that part was really fun. I loved that part of that game. Uh, Zell Rai is here and says, hi. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. And the man says, I don't want to waste my hours playing this game. <laughs> well, it's not a waste, but you should definitely look up some help. If the game is too hard and it's not fun, don't be afraid to look up some help. It's okay. Everybody does. Trust me. When it comes to Majora's Mask, everybody needed a little help the first time. Everybody. So you should definitely look up some tips. Sound says, isn't breakfast if you just woke up? No. Nope. nope, it's the meal in the morning. Meal in the morning. That is a, a post-nap dinner is what that is. Of course, if you're uh, on a schedule where you're always... Uh, sleeping during the daytime and awake at night, then that's another day, another thing. Go with the crags back. What's up, man? He says, is this SNES or Switch? This is SNES. This is actually on an analog Super NT. Okay, this is one of my favorite things about the X series. These capsules. Check this out. So you've come. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hoped that the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. Beyond anything the world has ever known. That's cool. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. Thanks, Dr. Light. From the grave, he's still helping us out. So check out this awesomeness. Take a good look at Mega Man at X. See how he looks? This is him. Now check it out. So sweet. Zap, zap. Oh, and now he's got some sweet boots. And they show you that you can now dash, and it changes the entire game. Everything is now different. And in fact, because you can dash and jump and shoot, I play the game interestingly. I use my thumb for these two buttons for shoot and jump. So my thumb is on these two all the time. I'm holding the charge and I'm jumping. Right? But then how do I dash? I get my index finger up in here. So now, I'm dashing, I'm jumping, I'm shooting all at once. So it's kind of a, a wonky way to hold the controller, but that's the best way to get all of those abilities together at once. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Uh, let's see. Pokemon fans back. Welcome, Pokemon fan. Melee Man says, There was McDonald's near where I lived, and they had a GameCube system, but didn't work for the last 10 years they had it. Well, they... That's silly. I loved uh, when McDonald's would have those GameCube units. I played lots of Pikmin and Luigi's Mansion in, in those machines. Good stuff. Zelda Rise of Zelda Majora's Mask is the weirdest dive into Japanese mythology. You'll need help on a first run. Absolutely you will. 
Don't be too proud to go look up some stuff. You really should. It's, a, it's an amazing game, but it is very difficult, especially because of that time limit. And there is something you can do to make the time limit less oppressive. So I definitely recommend looking it up. Isn't this sweet? This is like the suit that Vile had. Now you're in it. How cool is that? Sounds as I played Majora's Mask without help. Nice. Go with the Craig says, whoa, you're a pro, Jay. Like I said, I've played this game a lot. My friend and I rented this game from a local video store, like, all the time. We'd leave it on, because we didn't like the passwords, right? So we'd just leave it on all day for like a week until we had to return the game. We spent so much money renting the game, we should just bought it. But we didn't know there were any other Mega Man X games until 4 came out. And we're like, what? where'd 2 and 3 go? Ah! Didn't notice there was another dude there. Melee Man says, I'm also stuck in that trip. Prime games that I can barely progress each time. Again, those games you should definitely look up and get some help. I also got stuck and I think I had to look up a couple of things during my playthroughs on the stream last summer. IG says, there's an option to make the game easy in all the Mega Man X Legacy Collection games. Yes! But, this is not the X Legacy Collection. This is just an SNES cartridge of Mega Man X. So, I don't have that option. It is what it is. Jetson's here. What's up, Jetson? He says, I'm watching One Piece. Nice, nice. Enjoy. And the man says, whenever I play, I usually play Prime 2 Echoes, but I'm still stuck around the Great Temple. Like I said, look it up. It's totally worth it. All right. So now you can see that the bosses actually do have a health meter. I'm going to see if I can beat this guy without taking a hit. I think we can do it. He might jump or he might shoot more. Yeah. Whoa. Woo. He almost got me there a couple of times. Oh, he almost froze me as well. He's almost done. I think we can do this without taking a hit. Yes! That's it! Chill Penguin is the easiest boss, but uh, you definitely can't do it with zero hits on your first try. Solid says, this dude is not the Mega Man. He is X. He is Mega Man X, but he's only ever referred to as X. So, they, whenever they do a spinoff, they seem to always give the Mega Man a new name. So, in Mega Man Legends, he's actually Mega Man Volnut. He's a different Mega Man. In a Mega Man Battle Network, he's Mega Man EXE. Different Mega Man. So, this is X. Marsupial Gamer says, dang, those snowballs are deadly. They are. They totally are. Uh, we're going to go back to this fire level now, and I'll show you what's going on. Uh, Shock T says, 5J, I like the game Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. I remember I used to search debugger to search for my codes with the cheat. That's what it's called, but I created a camouflage code. You could make your own cheats? Interesting. I did not know that. Look at this! Already you can see the level's different. There's already, like, snow on the ground. Frost. And look at this! The lava is frozen! I can now just walk down here. Look at how much easier this is. I don't have to worry about those robots shooting lasers at me. I can just go by all of this. So isn't that interesting? So that means there's two different paths you can take in Mega Man X. You can either try to face all the bosses in the order of their weaknesses, or you can face all the levels according to what level affects another level. So, and that might unlock new secrets and whatnot. So, very, very interesting. Uh, Go with the Crag says, Prime 2 is harder than Prime 1. I have not played Prime 3 yet, but I'm looking forward to it. They're all great. Those are all amazing games. You should definitely play 3. Marsupial says, Chill Penguin is chill. He is chill. He is chill. He's not too tough. Salt says, I also encourage you to play Altered Beast. The game is pretty short, but so hard because the game is really broken. Oh, I've played lots of, of uh, Altered Beast. I don't think I'm going to do a whole playthrough, but... You no, know, I've... I Actually, I got um, the Game Boy Advance uh, sequel, which is really cool. Guardians of the Realm. Look at that! We can now get this, which increases your life meter by, I think, three ticks. Two or three ticks. But there's more that we can get in this level. I will show you. 
in every level, there is, I think, two hidden secrets. Or at least in every level, there's one, and some levels have two secrets. Okay, we're heading this way. I think there's an extra life. No. This might still be one. Yeah, okay, there is. But there's one more thing. Actually, there's two more things in this level. We can't get the other one just yet. This is an energy tank. So now, any extra health that I get, in addition to my full meter, goes into this energy tank. Which I can then use during whenever I want to live longer. Maybe it's a hard boss fight. Usually it's a hard boss fight that you use it during. Whoa! I was hoping to save up a little there, but I already got damaged. So we'll just spam this a little bit. And we'll build up... See, makes a little noise there. We'll build up a little bit in our uh, sub-tank, our E-tank. Not much. That's fine for now. Because now when I look, you can see the little tank down here is filling up. Sweet stuff, man. Sweet stuff. Uh, man, the man says, I'd prefer... I rather prefer the older Metroid games, the ones not like Metroid Prime. Well, that's only because you've actually beaten some of those games. Maybe if you'd beaten the Prime games, you might change your mind. Like I said, look up for help. You really should. It'll make the game much more fun for you. That I had to go through that briefly, but then you see we can skip the rest of it. Uh, let's see. Solid says Mega Man.exe stopped working. Uh, I it saw it as a link. I said Mega Man EXE stopped working. Oh, I saw it. Marsupial says, does that only happen if you do this level right after that cold level? No. If you've beaten um, Chill Penguin, this level forever is changed to be frozen. That's how all of these levels are. Um, some of the levels have less of an effect on another, but um, almost all of them have something like that, where, hey, if you beat this other level first, then this level is different. And it's really, really awesome. One of the reasons why I think that the Mega Man X games are superior to the classic Mega Man games. Oops, I didn't mean to actually climb that. So I need to throw it high. There we go. So we hit him in the legs. Or do this. Catch me if you can. Those uh, round pickups are weapon energy for like the. Uh... Ah. What is this weapon called? Shotgun ice. If I use up that, that would recharge that energy. Man, the man says, I'm on Venom in Star Fox Zero and cannot defeat Andros. You can do it, man. You can do it. Go with the Craig says, 2D Metroid is great, too. It is. Yes, it is. Shock T says, yeah, the PSP was big back then. If you took, or if you look on YouTube, there's another debugger called Night PR and Code PR. Then there's another one called Day PR, etc. They're rare to find on the internet. Solid says, I played one Metroid game where your suit gets infected by a virus. And there's like a dark Samus destroying stuff in the station. It was on Game Boy Advance. Yeah, that's Fusion. That's a great one. I love Metroid Fusion. Uh oh Making some mistakes. It's okay, because we're going to defeat this boss, I think, first time. Uh, let's see. Marcy says, oh, cool. I haven't played any of the Mega Man X games, but I'm going to get the collections on Switch. Yeah, I think a lot of people... Um, they maybe played the original Mega Man games and they found them too hard and maybe a little too old and obtuse. These games, in my opinion, so much improved. So much improved. Okay, this guy is not actually weak against so shotgun ice. So, that won't help me in this fight. However, the weakness that he does have is another weapon that will actually cut his trunk off. His trunk will fall off his face. That's really cool. So even the bosses can have some really cool effects if you attack them with their weakness. I'm not sure if Chill Penguin has a weakness because I always end up beating him first because I, I love the dash ability, right? It changes everything. So those globs there get you stuck. I don't like being stuck, so I stick to the walls largely. So I'm dashing off the walls. Otherwise, jumping off the walls, you don't go very far. You see how much farther I can get if you dash and jump at the same time. 
That's another reason why having the claw configuration is so helpful. Dash and jump simultaneously is very powerful. Uh-oh, I took a hit. Oh, no. If I lose now, boy, that'd be sad. Stay in the corner, you'll be okay. Just get out of there. Woo there we go. Almost made some real big mistakes, getting too eager, trying to take him down quickly. Marsupial says, Metroid Fusion, one of my favorites. Slim says, have you gotten the Hadouken in this game? One time. One time. And we'll look up and we'll do it during this stream, because we might as well see everything in this game, right? I'm going to get all the collectibles, all the power-ups, and we will get the Hadouken here today. So, you, you might be saying, Hadouken, you mean like Street Fighter, Ryu. Um, yes. That is literally exactly what I'm talking about. In this game, under very, very specific conditions, there is a special uh, fifth upgrade canister, um, pod, whatever it is, that will give you the Hadoken. Reuse Hadoken. He actually puts his hands out like that, and he, in a very high-pitched voice, says very quickly, Hadoken! Like, seriously, that fast. Hadoken! Like, in a high voice. Hadoken! I'll show you. It's, it's in here. But, in order to do it, you have to get all the upgrades, all the power-ups, and you have to beat all of these bosses. So you can only get it for the final levels. But, it can kill any enemy in one hit. One hit. Including bosses. So the final boss does not give you an opportunity to hit it with that ability. There's no way for you to actually hit him with the Hidoken. So you can't, you can't completely cheat the game with it because it happens at the end and uh, you can't hit the final boss with it. But it does make two stages of those bosses very easy. Let's see. Um, Solid says, I've never played any Mega Man games. Get the X games. Get the X games for sure. Uh, Zalrai says, those globs are also flammable. Ooh, are they? Ooh, I've never tried that before. Go with Craig says, Jay knows all the tricks. Not with all games, but this one, I know most of the tricks. There's probably a few I'm forgetting. There's one trick we're actually going to go back to this level for. There is one upgrade we haven't gotten yet in this level. And now that we've beaten Flame Mammoth, we can get it. And then we can leave. We don't actually have to finish the level. We can just get the one thing that we need and get out of here. <sighs> Taking some stupid hits right now. Ah. Come on, what am I, a noob? I didn't dash jump. Okay. We'll be fine now. There we go. Hopefully we can charge up our sub tank a little bit while we're here. We can get a few drops. Health drops at this point. That will help. Don't get hit. Do, 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 Oh, what the? Sometimes I miss my dashes. It's okay. It's weird hitting a button with your index finger. It works, but it's weird. Marsupia says, oh no, I played Mega Man 1 through 6 when they came out. I was born in 77. Well, no, I'm not saying you specifically. I'm saying a lot of people might have played the old Mega Man games and said, eh, not for me, but I think these games are much, much better. And wait till we get to the PlayStation era. Once again, the, the games take a big leap forward and there's some really cool features there. Very excited. Including um, having multiple different armor upgrades, not just a single one. Slim says, Hadoken, one hit kill. Yes, it is. Every single time. It's really cool. Shock T says, GG! Slim says, what's your best controller setup you like to use? AKA dash button placement, if any. I leave the controller as is, but I play it with my index finger. So I keep my index finger on dash while I'm using my thumb to charge and jump. So I can do all three at the same time. You know? So that's the way I like to play because as a kid, 
that's all I, all I ever did, you know? I learned early on that trying to hit over twice to dash just takes away so many tactical possibilities. So I learned to use the dash button and jump and shoot, shoot all at the same time. So that's how I play. Uh, Marsupius has got to meet you, but I'll keep watching, watching two live streams at once. Hope Fido's doing okay. Yes, he is. All right, so this suit can destroy these little domes, but that's not the only thing that can destroy these domes. So I just did a Yoshi maneuver there and ditched my suit to get up here. And check this out. If you use your flame ability, look at that. There's a heart upgrade. Get a few more ticks in the health meter. That's what we needed. Now we can leave the level. That's all we needed. Salt says, my pizza's ready. Nice. Salt Rice says, I remap the dash to the right shoulder button. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. I'm just used to the way I do it now. Okay. Now there's a couple of different ways you can go. You can go for the guy who's weak against the shotgun ice, or you can go against the guy who's weak against the fire. Actually, I bet you Chill Penguin's weak against fire, isn't he? I've never actually faced Chill Penguin with a fire, so... I forget what many of the boss weaknesses are. I know Armored Armadillos, I know Spark Mandrill, um, I know Boomer, Kawanga, that's how you say it. Let's go Spark Mandrill. Because this is a level that is not affected right now. Right now this level is untouched. We might actually have a hard time getting to the boss because this guy, the, there's a, a mini boss in this level that is extremely hard unless you beat the other boss that makes this level easier. So, we'll see if we can actually get to Spark Mandrill. There's a good chance we won't be able to. And I know my way around here going down isn't the right way to go. Not yet. Not until we get a different boss power up. Then it will be the right way to go. This area is kind of fun. These little dudes riding a moon just kind of shoot through the screen there. But you can, you can get them. They try and trick you, so like, oh, platform. No, don't believe that lie. Don't believe it. He's coming to get you. Slim says, what controller is that? Are you playing on a Switch? No, I'm playing on um, the Analog Super NT. It is... Um, ah! It's from a company that, that makes new hardware for old systems. So this is basically the same thing as an SNES, but with 1080p out output. It is amazing. So I'm playing this at home at 1080p. It's gorgeous. Um, but I'm actually using my SNES cartridge, which I ended up getting from Retro Game Treasure. Thanks, Retro Game Treasure. This guy. This guy is real tough. The water bubbles and the lightning combo are crazy difficult to deal with. I'm stuck into it once there. I gotta remember to... Oh, man. He's been really good about his placement this time. Oh, he keeps getting me on the wall. Ah. See, this is the dude that we might have a trouble getting past until we beat the other level first. Solid says Netflix has the rights to Avatar now. Oh, okay. I've never seen it, so cool. Maybe I'll check it out when it gets there. Nintendo Forever's back. Brian Zuniga's here. What's up, Brian Zuniga? It's good afternoon, Jay. How are you? I'm well. How are you? So, um, okay, I don't want to read those because this is still a family-friendly chat, so skip those. Zalrai says, that mini boss is quite electrifying if it can charge. <laughs> yes, it is. Ah, I gotta do so much better about my placement. Those water bubbles are the real, the real destroyers in there. Plus, I believe he has a lot more health um, if you don't beat the other boss first. So... He's tougher in many respects. Failing some of my dash jumps here. There we go. A little more towards the, uh... The sub-tank. Actually, we might empty the sub-tank for, uh, the mini-boss. That mini-boss is just so annoying. I don't like to have to face him too many times. 
Rare could chances, any chance you might stream the old Fire Emblem game someday? Maybe Fire Emblem Switch before Fire Emblem Switch releases? Probably not on any time schedule like that, but maybe someday. Splashhead says, I can stream and it's neat, but I don't know what to stream or when to stream. There's, like, always somebody I want to watch instead. Well, that's up to you. If streaming's the priority, then you might have to skip some streamers. If uh, watching streams is the priority, then go have fun. Don't worry about it. I gotta pile up the damage when he's like that. I can't forget to do that. Ah, uh, don't get stuck. Dang it. See what I mean? He can be really tough. Pile on the... Uh, the damage while he's sitting there. That's the way to do it. Man, look at him go. See what I mean? He's tough. I think we might actually have him done, though. Yes! Okay, Whew. we did actually destroy him. Thank goodness. He might drop, yeah, just a smidgen of health there. Luke's back. Hey, man, how's it going? Ryoka Chan says, you've never seen Avatar J? Are we talking about Avatar based on the cartoon or the Cameron movie? I'm talking about the uh, the anime. I have not seen the, the animation. Nintendo Forever says, I want the Metroid Samus Returns Special Edition someday. Do you have it? I don't have the Special Edition, but I have the game. And it's awesome. I love that game. Jamie's here. What's up, man? He says, woo, I'm here. I had an errand, but I rushed back home. Glad you made it. We're not too far. We've only beaten two bosses so far. Plus, I'm going to get all the secrets, including the Hadouken. So we're going to, uh, we're going to make sure we get everything. We're not just going to rush through the game. We're going to do it right. Because this is my thousand subscribers thank you stream. It's very late, but still, thank you guys so much for being subscribers. It's been an amazing ride so far, and I'm looking forward to many streams to come. So, this is one of the first games I ever streamed, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. And I can't play this game enough. I just love it. The music, the graphics, the power-ups. Oh man, I just love it so much. I want to play through all of the Mega Man X games. I won't do them in one sitting, because this is the only one I know well enough to be able to confidently say I can actually beat this in a day without having to spend eight hours on it. Okay, this one, I need the dash jump to get up there. Oh, almost had it on the second try. Three, four, five, come on. There we go. Sixth time was the charm. Congrats on the thousand subs, Jay. Ha ha, says Jamie. Jamie was there when we hit a thousand, so thanks, Jamie. Um, Brian says, you've never seen Avatar? I know, y'all gonna jump on me now. No, I've never seen it. Luke says, what is Avatar? It's a show. Splash says, but abandoning streamers seems mean 5J. They helped me so much setting up OBS. So it works. They all understand. You know, you gotta, you gotta stream when people are gonna watch. You know, there's peak hours. And even I don't stream during peak hours and stuff because I have a job. I miss out. There's a lot of viewers in Europe and Asia and stuff. And uh, that means streaming in the middle of the day. In addition to doing nights and long weekends. And I can't really do any of that stuff. As you can see, we have a second sequence here of these mean flying moon bots, whatever they are. Uh, Luke says, Wario's the best anime character. Splatch, this is a part I wanted from New Egg ran out of stock. Um, support brought it back, so I ordered it. Now it's out of stock again, and I'm sure unsure if it's going to ship. Oh no. Hopefully it is. If you were able to order it before it went out of stock, you should be okay. Hey, we filled that sub tank. Nice. Jamie says, ooh, all the secrets. Nice. Brian says, wow, 1K already? Nice progress. Well, it's been like two and a half years. I don't know if that's that great of progress. But, and that was mostly due to Nintendo Prime, honestly. They had a giveaway once that got me like seven, 800. It's crazy. Real good chances. Hope you get to 2,000 subs soon, Jay. I think I've been here since 500 plus subs. Well, if you were here sub 1,000, then you were probably here more around the two, 300. Because the giveaway was to get me to 300. And it got me to 1,000 instead. Uh, Nintendo Forever says, I'm right next to a 3DS kiosk, and for some reason the actual 3DS is not there. Ha! I guess it must have had a technical issue. Okay. This dude is weak against the shotgun ice. And he's pretty easy. You can pretty much keep him from moving. 
you just shoot at the right time, which I did not do, apparently. So the power-ups can be very, very, very useful during boss fights. Once again, I'm going to have this guy not even touch me before we win. Bada bing. Chicken Perm says, like! Zellrai says, I work in the day, so yeah. See, exactly. Luca's doing the the, the Luigi. <laughs> Splash Brothers says, does 5J still play Rocket League? I want to try a rematch. I now have faster internet. Maybe I could play even better than before. I haven't played in a long time. I'm, uh, I'm stuck on Paladins, and I like it that way. I like it that way very much. Nice. Electric Spark. I know who to use that on. Let's see, uh, to get the secret in, that, in this level, there's one more secret, we have to beat a different boss. And I think I can get all the secrets for this boss, so I'm going to do this boss next, even though he is not the one that is weak to the electric spark. Storm Eagle, what a cool design, look at how sweet this boss is. Oh, so cool. Uh, that reminds me, folks, to the 15 people watching, thank you so much. As a reminder, please like this video. That will actually get it out into browse features of other people. So please remember to like it right now, and that will help grow this stream as it's live. That would be great. Uh, also, if you happen to be watching and you don't already follow or subscribe to me on Twitch or YouTube, that would be awesome. I'm a small streamer. I can use all the support that I can get. Luke says Smash 64 Luigi is the best. I hear you, man. I love Luigi. Luigi is my dude. All right, there are three secrets in this level that I will get here and now. I can get all of them during this one attempt. So we won't have to revisit this level. Oh, unless I die like that. Wah, wah. Splash this is but 5J flying rocket cars that do sports because shiny wheels. Yes, it is a great game and I do enjoy it. I'm just enjoying Paladins more. Splash that says, 5J, what's your shirt? I think I saw Donkey Kong. No, you did not. I saw Spider-Man. It's a comic book cover. It's a little hard to see. Had to back up there to get a better angle on the light in the room, I guess. But yeah, it's a Spider-Man comic book cover. It's very cool. Jamie says, absolutely no duds out of all the bosses and stages. They're all great. I hear you, man. Absolutely. No duds in this one. This game is 100% pure solid gold. This is a, a testament to 2D action platformers. All right, there's one of our secrets right there. Another heart increase. Just Amazing Games is here and gave me a follow. Thank you so much. We're chipping away at uh, the boss's HP there. You see just to my, I guess if you're looking at it to my left, um, there is a boss HP. The last guy who beat the boss uh, is now the current boss, True Dog X. If we can get enough follows and um, subscribes on YouTube um, and donations to streamlabs.com slash 5J, uh, link is also in the YouTube description. Um, th if we get that meter all the way down, one of you guys gets to be the next boss. And I think 200 HP is only a $2 donation. Um, but again, you don't have to donate. It's not expected. I just thought it'd be a fun little mini game for folks to play. If you donate a penny, that's one HP off the boss there. So you donate a dollar sixty, that boss is toast. And the next boss's HP is based on how thoroughly you beat him. Like if you if you donated enough to be like two dollars over his final health, then I think you would be. Oh, there was an extra life in there. I didn't even know that. You can go past this part of the wall and there was an extra life. That's a secret I'd never found before. That's cool. I'm still finding new stuff about this game. I love it. All right, so that's, let's see, two secrets. No, no, one secret. That's only one of the secrets I was thinking of. Here's another. You go in here. You get rid of this punk. Boom! I love that. All of the glass gets destroyed. And there's another E-Tank. Now I have two E-Tanks to fill up. Uh, Splatcher says, can 5J show off the rig like my computer? It's just a, uh, a, a white tower. There's really nothing to see about it. 
I'm not gonna open it up and everything, plus the room's so messy. Don't wanna do that. Okay, but you can see down here there was a normal bit of level. Almost nothing happening here though, so you're kinda just left wondering, wonder what's above me? Well, a tower is above you with an E-Tank. Alright, we got some platform against these flamethrowing bots here. I just like to do dash jumps. I'm just so used to it. You can go down here, but there's actually nothing to see. There's nothing. So I gotta dash jump my way out of here. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Man, I love this game. Oof, that's why I like the dash jump. Makes it easy. Uh, let's see, Spatchin says, 5J, can you put a PNG of you over Mega Man and be like, bam, it's you playing yourself, doing your day job. I don't know how it would track the movement of the character, but that sounds awesome. I would love to star in a Mega Man game. Alternate face, maybe, in the helmet. Of course, the face isn't very detailed, so for all you know, it is my face in that helmet. Me at four years old in 1993. So that, again, not one of the secrets I'm talking about. That's just a simple extra life. We're about to get the next secret, though. Real good chances I might not be able to catch any streams for a little while. My aunt died. Oh, no. So I'm going to fly out to Japan to pay my respects. Not looking forward to the fish food, man. I'm really sorry to hear that, Ryoko-chan. Oh, man. That's awful. Well, my condolences. Um, I guess eat a lot of chicken. Chicken and rice. So here's another secret. It looks like death here, right? But no, you can slide down, make sure it's safe. Solid ground. And you can only get here, of course, if you have the fire power up. Blam. And what's in here? Why, another upgrade capsule. That's what. Check this out. This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet. Which will allow you to break some ceilings with a headbutt. Which really comes in handy um, almost never. There's only one situation where it actually comes in handy, and it's another secret. Another secret. Which is an optional secret. Well, I guess all the secrets are optional. But what I mean by that is the secret that you can unlock with this ability is a secret that you'll unlock anyways. Or uh, an ability that you'll unlock anyways, no matter what. So... Great! That's all three secrets in this level. We got a sweet new helmet. We got those dash boots. We have two more upgrades to get. Oh, there's no extra life. Man, this level's got lots of extra lives. Lives. Extra lives, not lives. Grammar, 5J. Grammar. Um, Potato Lopez is here and says, Hi! Hey, Potato. How's it going? Splash says, what happened to the YouTube chat on Twitch? It was good. Uh, I feel like it was um, preventing other folks on Twitch from piping up in the chat because it was like 100% all YouTube chats. And it was all my account posting those chats, right? So it just looks like me posting a thousand times in my own chat. So I think a lot of people were turned off by that. So I turned that feature off. So, you can still see the chats show up on the left. Oh boy. Because the camera's mirrored. Which side is it? Eh. It's that side. Over on that side of the stream, you still see the chats pop up over there. So, that's the best way, I guess, you have to see chats from the other channels. Uh, Luke Wombo Combo's back. Says, hey, how's it going? Special says, why did you quit Nintendo Prime? I never see you stream on the channel anymore. So, I guess you weren't there this morning. <laughs> Real good chances. Thanks, man. I hate missing streams. I had minimal contact with my aunt growing up, but it's a tradition to go out of our way to pay respects. I only have my cousin now on my mother's side. Well, yeah, it's family. You know, you, you should pay respects to your family. Um, plus, a visit to Japan. Like, yeah, maybe you don't like the food, but, I mean... You gotta love the country, right? There's a lot of great things there to see. A little shake-up to the American routine as well, you know, might be kind of fun. At least 
I would think so. Missing streams is okay, especially, you know, life stuff. Obviously, a stream is entertainment. Entertainment really isn't important in life. It's not. You know, we're socializing and whatnot, but it's, it's nothing compared to when there's a family emergency. So you go in this weird little elevator. It brings you back up here and then destroys the ship. What kind of elevator is that? Worst elevator ever. All right. So this boss likes to blow you around. You need to use your dash with this boss a lot. So he's got that tornado going for him. If he's just going to keep spitting eggs, that's actually the easiest way to beat him. He's got some other attacks that he does that ends up being a little bit more tricky. Right now, he's not doing any of those attacks, so he's being easy. Sounds good to me. Yeah, just keep spitting those eggs, dude. Doesn't matter to me, man. I'm gonna beat you with hardly any hits then. Okay, here he goes. Does these dive bombs at you. And it took me a long time to figure out how to actually counter them. But now, we figured it out very well. Uh, Luke says, I didn't leave, I was greeting Potato. Oh, I see. Uh, Spotted says, ooh, I was watching some local pirate from a thousand miles away stream RuneScape fishing, but it was fun. Okay. I want to pop one of these Zevias. A little caffeine going. Oh, we've got Rude here from uh, the Nintendo Prime stream this morning. Says, uh, hey, Jay, you got a new fan. I saw your vid on Paladins, and your skills are amazing. Aw, thank you so much, Rud. Rud, Rude, I'm going to say Rude. Thank you so much for jumping over from that channel. Uh, Nate's got some awesome stuff over there. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I've been playing a lot of Paladins, and I hope that I've gotten a lot better than what I was when I first started. It wasn't very good. Real quick chances, and don't worry, Jay, I'm going to fill my suitcase full of those chicken rustlers. <laughs> I hope they don't think I'm smuggling, lol. When I go to Japan someday, and I will because it is a huge desire for me, I want to get um, a Famicom and a Famicom disc system. I want to go see the giant Gundam statue. Uh, I want to go to Super Potato and just see all the crazy old school games and stuff. Oh, it's going to be great. So this is 5 to Lego. I do, um, not very much, but actually I buy Chinese knockoffs off of AliExpress. I'm going to turn my fan on just one sec. Okay, we are halfway done with the bosses. We are less than halfway done with the secrets. And then we have the final stages, which you have to do consecutively, or it makes you start all of them over again. Danny's joined on Periscope. Hey, Danny, how's it going? Spatulated says, there's a new Lego set coming out on September 1st. It's the largest Hogwarts castle yet. It's got like 27, excuse me, minifigures and four full-size Lego figures. And it's 400 bucks. That actually sounds like a deal. Um, there are some sets that are huge and very expensive. That's actually why I buy the Chinese knockoffs. They're very good and they're very cheap. Okay, so we've beaten this level. We're going to go back... No, we're not going to go back to this level, because that power doesn't get me what I want. I think I need Boomer Kawanga's. That's how you say it, I always forget. I think I need his power to do what I'm thinking of. Um... Okay, well, we'll go here. We'll go here. Especially it says, can you get it and build it and be like, woo! Actually, I built a giant Ghostbusters firehouse set, and I had filmed it, but I don't remember if I filmed all of it, and um, I wasn't quite sure how to edit it together so that it was, like, sped up, you know, a hundred times or whatever, to make it, you know, not be literally 50 hours of me building or whatever it was. A long time. Much too long to be interesting. But uh, I, uh, I, lately I've been building Gundam models, these plastic models, and uh, I thought that might be kind of a fun sort of IRL type stream. This guy, first of all, has a secret over here. 
E tank. Second of all, there's another secret. But we gotta actually destroy him. Which is easiest with this fire weapon. There we go. Before he destroys too much of the environment around us, because, as you will see, look at this! Here's one secret, and there's another segment later in the level that has a much better secret than just some life. Uh, Rude says, I started playing Paladins. I had my first kill in training mission, but it's not very easy. What I did notice, you can get free gold and gems for logging in every day. Not only gems, but on days 6 and 7 of the week, you also get free crystals, which you normally have to pay for. So if you log in every day, even if you never played a single game during that week, you can still get 50 free crystals. And I don't know if that stacks. If it, like, eventually, like... Oh, that was silly. Why'd I do that? I don't know if eventually you'll get, like, 100 after week 2. Or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But 50 crystals a week, when normally you pay for them, is a pretty sweet deal. So you definitely should log in every day. I forget sometimes, too, though, so it happens. Uh, let's see... Uh, Splatchland says, if you're a VIP, I think you can buy a month early from LEGO themselves. Oh, they have a LEGO VIP? Interesting. Ryoko Chan says, if I come across a Famicom disc system, I'll pick one up for you and mail it to you. It's not expensive for retro stuff in Japan. There's so many stores and stalls selling them. That would be awesome. Um, boy, but if, I'm, if we're gonna do that, though, I'm... I would need... Um, I would need a P.O. box. You know, I don't want... I don't want to be giving out my actual home address. So, uh, I'll have to s still look into getting that P.O. box going. And seriously, if it if it is you know, expensive in any way, like, don't feel obligated by any means. And, in fact, I could pay you back. If you were going to get it, I, I could totally pay you back. Because, yeah, I, I would hate for somebody to, to donate something expensive. Feel bad... <laughs> I guess. Um, uh, Luke says, I really love Wario's Shoulder Bash in Smash Yahoo. Yes. I love that they're adding that as well from his classic games. Slime says, I know this Mega Man, but Koga is my new main for PC. Maeve lost her PC touch, but her console abilities are great. She's the same character, but okay. Not exactly sure what's different for her for for you about her, depending on what platform you're playing it on. Koga's great. I love Koga. I feel like everyone's balanced. Everyone has a crazy powerful something or other, but there's also some glaring weakness. I think Paladins is excellently balanced. Slime says, the music is bop, holy cow. <laughs> is bop? What does that mean? But no, Mega Man X games have had excellent music all the way through. All the Mega Man games have, but, you know, having the 16-bit music and 32-bit music has been awesome. Whoop. Jumped at the wrong moment there. we got to be close to having two full. Oh, we have more than two full. We've got almost three full. Nice. Splash that says, 5J Humble Bundle has hat in time. It's $12 and you get Conan Exiles and Prison Escape 2. And on the 3rd of August, like, six more games. Nice. Ryoko Chances, my cousin lives in Akihabara. Oh, where all the retro stuff is. Nice. So I should have a good chance of scoring one easy. She's very good to me. She always pays for my flight whenever I come over. I'm going to have to polish my Japanese again. <laughs> nice. That's so cool. Man, I want to go to Japan someday. Uh, it's not cheap, though. Not from America, it's not. To fly that far. See, look how quickly you can kill him with that firepower. And there is the better secret. If he chips away, you can't actually get this. So you have to destroy him before he gets this far. So, one more health increase. Look at how much health we have. We almost have as much as we have weapon ammo. And originally, you have like half as much as weapon ammo. It's awesome. IG says Sigma is hard in this game. That's why I quit the game. It made me restart all over. Yeah, as a kid, I never once beat Sigma. I beat... So the final boss is in three stages. I beat stage one. I beat stage two. I could never beat stage three. Same thing happened to me in Mega Man X4 and in Mega Man X6. Those were the Mega Man games that I'd gotten all the way to the end in. 
but I could never, ever beat Sigma. However, I had finally beaten this Sigma in college, and uh, I also beat this game recently because I was nervous about <laughs> this playthrough. Okay, there is one thing we want to get here, and right now, that's all there is, is just that health pickup. But this is where there will be the Hadoken upgrade canister. So, once we meet all the conditions, we'll come back here to get the Hadoken. But yes, IG, I totally get you. Sigma is crazy difficult. Uh, Ryoko Chan says, I saw a few last year, Jay, when I was there. They are inexpensive when bought from Japan itself, rather than resellers on eBay. Yeah. And I'll just send it over to your local depot. I don't know how it works in the U.S. Depot? What is... I guess I don't know what that is. I hear depot, I think. The Home Depot. Luke says, Dark Meta Knight, powerful heavyweight echo for Smash. Dark Meta Knight. I like it. Spatula says, can 5J get the bundle and become a partner with Humble Bundle and be amazing? I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm sorry, bud. Saving money right now. So since I found out how to allocate RAM, I can finally play on PC. There you go. Danny says, which retro console do you recommend for my first? N64 or what? Ooh, I'm going to have to... Hang on, let's pause it for a second. Because first of all, we need to use this spark power. Uh, and I want to address this question. Um, it depends on what you want to do. N64 is an excellent system, but it's much better if you're planning on playing multiplayer games. Mario 64, Goldeneye, um, all the Mario Party games. There's like tons and tons of awesome multiplayer games on the 64, and it has those four ports built right in. Um, there are still awesome, awesome um, single-player experiences to be had. But I'm just saying, if you're planning on doing lots of party games, N64 is the way to go. Like, that's the one you want, for sure. If you're not planning on doing lots of party games, then you might still want the 64. Otherwise, Super Nintendo is excellent. NES is excellent. Master System is cheap. You can probably get lots of games for that for cheap. And it's still a great system. Excuse me. Um... Genesis, another great system. All right, check this out. If I hit him at the right time with this, he gets shocked and he loses his armor. Now he can't block my shots anymore. There's nothing he can do to stop me anymore. Normally, his armor is impenetrable, impenetrable in most situations. Now I can hurt him even while he's doing this. So I don't even really care to avoid his attacks, because I can just steamroll him. Boom! He's done. He's done. Um, Danny says, awesome, cool, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Um, Game Boy. Lots of cheap games for Game Boy. Game Boy Color. Um, Game Boy Advance. Um, you can get a Game Boy Player on Super Nintendo, and then you can play Game Boy and Black Cartridge Game Boy Color games on your TV, or if you have a GameCube, you can use the Game Boy Player, which can be expensive for the disc specifically, but there might be a way to hack it. Um, anyways, the Game Boy Player will allow you to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games on your TV, so that is extra awesome. All for One Review is back. How's it going? He says, N64 all the way. What are we talking about? Recommendations on a first retro console for Danny on Periscope. Uh, Ryoko Chan says, in the UK, we can send parcels to a local post office or post depot so they can pick it up there and sign for it, if that makes sense. I have no idea. You're in the UK, though. I didn't know that. So that's got to be expensive still to ship something heavy like that. What? Oops, I accidentally selected the same level. I'll just quit. It's a nice feature. You can just get out of here. It allows you to replay them so you can find secrets you missed. So that's nice. This game doesn't have a save, by the way. That big code is the only way to continue. Luke just says, Wah! Okay, let's see. Armadillo. I don't remember who's weak against Armadillo. Some of these bosses I just typically beat without knowing their weakness. But, who's got another upgrade I want? Sting Chameleon. 
he's got the the last um, normal upgrade. Real good chances. I'll keep an eye out for some games for it as well. I'll make the trip fun. For, it'll make the trip fun for me because of the occasion. I'll be there solely for putting an arm around my cousin. Well, yeah, maybe you and your cousin can go spend some time just looking at old games, have some fun. Um, I really appreciate it if you do that, Ryoko-chan, but honestly, if you don't, or if you don't have the money for it, or whatever, like, seriously, you don't have to. You really don't have to. If you do, that is awesome, and if you don't, then just enjoy your time there, and, you know, get your grieving out. Um, as far as games, though, if you are looking for games, uh, the only Famicom games I have right now are Rockman um, 6 and, I think, 5. I don't have any of the others, and I don't have, um, oh, I guess I don't have di any Disk System games, for one. Alright, here's another secret, right here. But this secret is a little different, because to be able to get the secret, you have to beat a mini-boss. So we get locked in here, we gotta beat the mini-boss, and then there's another secret. Remember this mini-boss used to give me a lot of trouble. But I think I understand him pretty well now. And now he's not quite as difficult for me. He does have a lot of health, though. The first time you play any Mega Man game is always the hardest. Recognizing those patterns. Sometimes, you know, you, you just can't get it through your head. You're just so bent on trying to beat him up. You know, attack, attack, attack. Sometimes you forget the defense, which is usually just a matter of avoid the attack. So you just gotta learn how to avoid the attack. Look at how far you can jump off the wall if you dash and jump from the wall. I think that's genius. He almost hit me. I almost let him get me. You can see he's smoking. I love that. That's so cool. Other bosses don't really do that as much. He's breaking down. You can visibly see we're having an effect on him. In a logical way, he's not like changing colors, which is not natural. He's a robot. He's starting to steam, you know? He's like got smoke coming out. Something's breaking. He's not, like, slowly turning red like in Zelda games. You can see he's only weak against that one little dot on the top of his head there. He has some attacks there that he didn't actually utilize. Lucky me. Rude says, hey, Ryoka-chan, you're in the UK? We're practically neighbors. I'm from the Netherlands, man. Across the North Sea. Nice. I actually have a surprising amount of visitors, visitors, viewers from Europe. Amazing how many folks are watching me from overseas. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Ryoko Chan says, It's no problem, Jay. Lol. Fans send gifts to their favorite streamers all the time. Well, thank you so much, Ryoko Chan. That is so nice of you. Seriously, so, so kind of you. Um, Luke says, I would say Galacta Knight would be a good Meta Knight Echo, but there's already a Galacta Knight alt. Ryoko Chan says, Darude, yes, that's awesome. I love Netherlands. Beautiful country. One of my favorite places to visit in Europe. I need, I need to go to Europe, too, because it's so easy to go to so many different countries as soon as you get anywhere in Europe. Like, that's that's awesome. That's so cool. It's like going to another state in America, but you're visiting a totally different com uh, country, totally different culture. Like, awesome. <clears throat> this capsule contains a type, a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. Oh yeah. So this is another boss that you might almost want to go for first. Because this is 50% damage all the time. And look at how sweet it looks. We have almost the complete armor now. Look at how awesome that is. Oh, we're looking so cool. Uh, IG says, No Man's Sky has the fifth highest views on Mixer. Wow, that's awesome. And I see that IGN is also getting really strong views for um, No Man's Sky. So it looks like people are finally forgiving them for their early mistakes and are excited about the new future. Scrub Kids here. What's up, Scrub Kids says, Would you say he is 
smoking hot. I see what you did there. Yeah, totally. The big round body. <laughs> Here's another secret. We actually cannot get this yet. We are not able to get over there yet, so we'll have to leave that be for now. We have to beat a different boss, and the level will be a little bit different. Only, I think, in that one place. I think that's the only spot in the whole level that changes based on beating this other boss. So we'll come back after we beat that boss and get that heart upgrade. Uh, let's see. Luke says, I would say Galactonite is an echo, but I already read this one, dude. IG says, I have a lot of Scottish Xbox Live friends. Really? Specifically Scotland? That's interesting. I wonder where that is. Real quick chances, the Swiss Alps is one to check out, Jay. You'll never see anything as beautiful in your life. Wow. Okay, I'll definitely have to check that out. I also want to go to Sweden. Um, for one thing, I hear that everyone in Sweden speaks English, which is great. Um, I, I Also, my, my favorite band is a Swedish band um, called Blindside. Um, they're like a... Uh, like a hard rock group so might not be your your style but i loved them they were very significant to me growing up as a teenager you know got to get all the the feelings out there they're also a christian band so they uh, expressed a lot of the same sort of feelings and emotions related to my religion and those beliefs that i was uh that i was feeling as a teenager but in sweden they don't have a separation of christian music and normal music so they're they were just a band, you know? They're just a band in Sweden. They aren't a Christian band. They're just Christians in a band. And also, one of the band members' name is Christian. So, funny how that works. Come on. I love these little boxing matches with the other suits. So much fun. Jamie Pyatt says, I'm chomping on ketchup chips, Jay. Oh, man, those ketchup chips. I almost... I almost forgot about your disdain for Canadians eating ketchup chips. Chips. I don't disdain. No, it's fine. I just think it's strange. I'd totally try them, though. I would definitely try ketchup chips. Uh, Canada. That's another country I need to spend some more time in. And it's much easier for me to get there. Jamie says, X is looking sweet. Right? All those upgrades. He's looking awesome. He's got just one more upgrade to get. And I'm not going to uh, go into detail about how we get it. Because some of you probably have never seen this game before. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes when we get to the later levels. Uh, Luke says, Wario Claus gives you garlic and money for Christmas. <laughs> like Santa Claus. Wario Claus. Wah! I love it. This suit, by the way, can actually blow up. I'm going to take some more damage and show you. Uh-oh. What's going on? Get out before it blows! You can stay in there when it blows, but you'll, you won't really get hurt. Uh, let's see. Rude says, you know my ancestors actually founded New York. It was named New Amsterdam. Then, before we exchanged it with the British for Suriname, I believe. That was before the independence of the USA. Yes, indeed. That's awesome. The Netherlands, huh? I didn't know that they originally founded New York. Very, very cool. I might have learned that a long time ago, but, you know, history is about memorization, and uh, memorization is also easily forgotten. Uh, Jdez02 is here and says, Hi, hey, how's it going? Thank you for watching. Um, sorry if I mispronounced your name. Let me know if I can pronounce that differently. Who says USA used to be British country? Well, it was a mishmash of all sorts of countries, right? I mean, France had property here, Spain, England. Those are the big three, really. But yeah, absolutely. Rick Chan says, I'll have to remember to pick up a copy of Umahara Kawase for you, Jay. It's for the SNES. I recommend you play it a few times. Hang on here. Um, I always come home with four to five suitcases full of stuff from Japan. Wow, seriously? That's insane. Also, what game is that? I don't speak the language, obviously. So what is it? Is it a franchise that I know? Or is it just a sort of an anime-based game? Or is it just like a random action platformer? Is it an RPG? 
What are we talking about here? Scrub Kid says, yeah, we start to learn English in school when we're like seven years old. Oh, Scrub Kid, are you Swedish? Oh, that, that's the next chat. I'm Swedish. That's awesome. You know, in America, we don't spend enough time um, teaching anyone additional languages. Spanish is the, the, the most taught language in America outside of English. But typically the requirement is only like one or two years, and that's not enough time for you to be fluent in the language at all. You'll hardly know any Spanish in two years, and you'll forget it all very easily. So, uh, French also somewhat common in America, um, but again, not typically a requirement. So, we don't do a great job here of trying to expand the horizons linguistically, culturally, and we should. I would love to know another language, but at this point, it's so much extra time outside of my job and streaming and like, ugh, I don't know if I'm going to get around to it. Um, I'd love to learn Japanese for one, since so much of the pop culture I love is uh, Japanese video games, you know, largely a Japanese thing with a little bit of Western thrown in and some random other countries producing some as well. But, you know, the, the, fr the industry as we know it would not be the same without Japan absolutely reinventing and reinvigorating what it is to be video games. So, uh, big respect there. And of course, I like some anime stuff and lots of Gundam, of course. Of course. Woo! Um, other languages I'd be interested to learn. Italian, because it's in my family. I'd love to learn Italian. Similar to Spanish. So maybe if I learned Spanish, maybe Italian wouldn't be so hard to pick up from there. Rilke Chan says to rude crazy to think about, ain't it? The British Empire was so powerful back in the day. I think it was Boston that was the stronghold for us. Boston was, yeah, like the biggest, the biggest city in those days. For sure. Primex is here and says, I love these games. Aren't they so good? They're just so good. Uh, IG says, Leif Erikson was the first to discover a part of America. See, I forget all the details in history. I do have to come back to, uh, you know, remembering some of those important details of my past, or my country's past. Ryoko Chan says, it's a platformer, Jay. You use a fishing line with uh, skill shots to get through doors to progress the next gauge. It's a really unique kind of game. It's a Natsume game. I think I've actually heard of this. Um, now, come to think of it, it's like a, um, I think it's like a teenage girl, she's wearing like a black hoodie or something, right? I think I've seen that there's a multiple games in that series. Yes, I would totally love to play that game. That's awesome. Danny says, yeah, it should be required for middle school to go to high school seven years. Everyone would know Spanish well. Yeah, um, so there are some schools around here that are like Spanish immersion. So you have your kids go to the school and they speak Spanish at the school whole time. Great. That's a great way to learn a language, but it's not a requirement. You know, it's like a private school. So it's not all that common. Um, who to do next? Boomer Koanga or Launch Octopus? I'm going to go Launch Octopus on this one. Uh, Scrub Kids says, uh, yeah, I'd love to learn Japanese, both with the pop culture, but also I think the Japanese language is beautiful. I think the Japanese culture is beautiful. Like, the architecture, the, um, I, I like the focus on honor, you know, like, treating people with honor, maintaining your family honor, you know, respect, all that kind of stuff. It can go a little too far sometimes, but can't we all on various things? So, you know, it is, it is what it is. Uh, I love all of the amazing, uh, artwork and um, clothing and stuff from the, the ancient periods. All, like I said, the architecture. Oh my goodness, just so beautiful. Uh, the the watercolor paintings and stuff, and the kimonos, just so beautifully put together. And there's so much awesome stuff there. There, I feel like Japan is a lot like Germany, in that both of those countries are places that take pride in doing things perfectly. 
Like, they will practice something for the longest time until they have it perfect. And so maybe, maybe you're not very good at a lot of things, but you're probably amazing at one thing. And I think there's a lot to admire about that. So I, I really admire that about both of those countries. Oh, this one's harder. So you can fall into the spikes. Don't do it. Yeah, I get that searchlight off there. Pain in the butt, number one. Ugh. Oh my goodness, I knew it. I knew it. I knew I'd fall in there. Uh, Rookie Chance retro games aren't really that expensive most of the time, I find. It's mostly our JRPGs that fetch the largest amount of money on retro market. True story. Those are always expensive. Always, always. Spatsy says, what if 5J ate a banana? Actually, it says, ated. What if 5J ated a banana? I like bananas. I'd eat a banana. This little, like, undersea vacuum power is just murderous. I hate it. I hate it so much. I want this guy dead ASAP. Not gonna make it. Give it some time. There we go. Whew. That was too much. Alright, we are fully charged on three full sub tanks. That is great. Uh, Rick Chances, I'll pick it up along with some other silly goodies. It's just so cheap to pick up goodies in Japan. Most of my collections from Japan and most are simple games that don't require English text to play. That sounds awesome. Oh, man. Because they have, like, all those, um, capsule machines and stuff, too, right? Just toys everywhere in Japan. Little... Ah, oh, it's so cool. Man, I want to go so bad. So, so bad. Someday. Someday. So this level is actually already affected by another boss that I beat, but it's only affected in a small part of the level, not the whole level. So we'll see that a little bit later here. And I think the easiest way to take this guy down once again is this flame ability. It just does loads of damage if you hold it on there. This thing falls, look at this, breaks through the floor. Secret. How sweet is that? I love it. Rude says, you can do it, Jay! Yeah! Thank you. Man, that's one of the mini-bosses I hate most, along with that one in Spark Mandrill's level. We are at 160 HP on that boss. We get more uh, follows on Twitch and subscribes on YouTube. That'll bring that HP down. If we get donations to Streamlabs slash 5J, that brings it down as well. I think also, I think hearts on uh, Periscope. So Danny, I don't know if you're still listening, but if you are, try giving me some hearts on Periscope. Not a super heart, I know those are paid. But if you just tap on the screen and give me some hearts, does that change my boss value at all? It is hooked up to Periscope, but I forget what things about Periscope actually take away. Might be new fans. I know super hearts do, but that's a paid thing, so that's that's different. I'm wondering what free actions affect the boss HP. And then Mixer, same thing. If I get new follows on Mixer, um, then I, I know that for sure also reduces that boss HP. So you can hit this guy in the head, and you can also hit him in the tail. He's a cool boss, though. Mini boss, excuse me. Don't fall on the spikes! That's an instant death if you fall on the spikes. There we go. Took him out. Boom. Oh, man. I can't get that life because it's in the spikes. There you go. A lot of work. Again, fighting a mini boss to get an upgrade, but it's totally worth it. Totally worth it. Rekko Chan says, if you ever go, be sure to hop on the Hatsune Miku Project Diva machines in the arcade. It's so fun. Some of those machines will give you Miku toys if you get high scores. Man, your arcade machines will give you toys too? Man, Japan is awesome. Man, I want to go someday. Danny says, I'm pumping them now. All right, well, it looks like, looks like it doesn't work, unfortunately. But thank you so much 
for the hearts on Periscope, Danny. Thanks for testing that out. I guess I could also look on... What is this? Is it um, Streamlabs? Let's see what it says in Streamlabs for what Periscope actions. Most likely it seems like it's just going to be those super hearts. But I'll check anyway. Do my due diligence. Stream boss. Uh, settings... Damage from Super Heart Coins. Yeah, and then donation dollars, which is just streamlabs.com slash 5J. Got it. Okay. Just Amazing Games gave us a follow. Nice. Thank you so much. That must be on, um, on Twitch. Thank you so much. Okay. So, now we're going to see how this level's affected. See, this is all broken. Those little, like glass containers with I don't even know what personally it looks like thermometer juice aka mercury so I don't know if there's mercury in there if so these fish should be dying but they're robots so I guess I guess the fish are dead so yeah this level wouldn't be all broken up if not for us having beaten I think it was the storm eagle level so like the ship crashed into the ocean how cool is that the answer, very, very cool. Very cool. Luke says, bye, dude. See you later. Peace. Thanks for hanging out with us, Luke. You the man. Man, I love this game. It's so good. How long has it been? It's only been an hour and a half. It might be another hour and a half till we're done with this. We'll see, because we're making a pretty good, pretty good progress here. We're not speed running it by any means. But we're not really dying very much. We're not making much in the way of mistakes. So it's it's going pretty well. We'll see how stuck we do or don't get on the boss. Like I said, I did actually beat this recently. Just to make sure that I wasn't going to spend five hours fighting one boss. So I, I kind of have some tactics in play in place in my mind for how we're going to face the final Sigma stages. So I don't think it will take too many tries. But we'll see. I expect fully to die, for sure. Uh, Rude says, when did you start streaming? Like, when did you do your first stream? Well, I've actually been doing this for a long time. It's been over two years. Um... I started streaming because when I got married and I got my career job, um, I didn't have much time for video games anymore. You know, I'm spending a lot of time with my wife and we're going out, we're doing fun things and that's great. But video games were always a huge part of my life and I just felt so sad about it. And I felt like, you know, there's this opportunity to be doing Twitch streaming and YouTube streaming and actually initially it was only Twitch streaming that I was doing and now YouTube streaming is much bigger for me. And so, I wanted to video games in my life, and that's one reason that I started. And now that I've been streaming, another reason that I'm still going is because I feel like there's so much negativity on the internet these days, especially in regards to video games and the, you know, the flame wars, you know, console wars. It doesn't make sense to me why there would be a console war. Like, it's video games. We're having fun. Like, there's no need for legitimate hatred. Like if you're just joshing around with somebody and, and making fun of stuff, that's fine. But there are people that will legitimately hate because of a game or a system. And that's nonsense. So another reason I want to do it now is I want to be a positive role model. I want to be a place where we can hang out and have fun and enjoy this hobby that we, we like together. And um, not have it be a place of toxicity, you know? Just having fun. Um, so yeah, that was over two years ago. All those videos are still up, so for fun sometime, you should definitely go look at some of my oldest streams. Things are very different nowadays. Very different. Uh, Ryoko Chan says, you need to look into Retro Japan only games for the NES, and especially SNES. So many games in those systems, like Umihara Kawase and Magical Poppin'. So many Fire Emblem games, too. Yes, and, um, uh, the Kunio-kun games. Not really a thing here in America, but um, there was one Kunio-kun game in America 
that I didn't know was a Kunio Kun game. And it was one of my favorite Game Boy games of all time. Um, Double Dragon 2 on the Game Boy in America is actually a, um, a artwork swap of a Kunio Kun game on Game Boy. And I didn't know that. And it's like my favorite Double Dragon game, and I just love it. It's such a great brawler, and I didn't know it was actually a totally different game. I always knew there was something weird about it, though, because the artwork for Double Dragon 2 on Game Boy is the artwork for Double Dragon 3 on NES. So the artwork is wrong. That was one indication that that game was something different. Um, but I didn't know it was a totally different game. Danny says, is your wife a gamer? She's not. Um, she likes to play some, some games with me. Mario games especially. So early on, she was a part of the channel. Every Wednesday I had a Wife Wednesday stream. And that was a lot of fun. You should definitely go look up those videos. Because we haven't done one of those in a very long time. Um, we like to play lots of um, Mario 3D World, Super Mario 3D World on Wii U. That was an amazing multiplayer Mario game. Um, so if we do another Wife Wednesday, maybe we'll do a, a multiplayer game like that and we'll both play. But otherwise, we had her play a game and she's playing and I'm not playing. And I'm just trying to help and, you know, kind of enjoying how she's not very good at it. And just having a fun time hanging out and reading chats. Rude says, cool, thanks man. Ryoko Chan says, I like all the consoles. Best gen was Xbox, PS2, Dreamcast, and GameCube. Oh, Dreamcast. So many games across those platforms, yes. Great platforms. I totally, totally agree. Um, I still think we need to beat this guy before we can get all of the secrets. So we're going to beat this guy, and then we'll go get all the secrets. Uh, Scrub Kids says, just out of curiosity, I see you're streaming on both Twitch and YouTube at the moment. Do you watch the comments from both streams? Yes, I do. And actually, I'm also on Periscope and Mixer right now, and I'm getting comments from all four platforms. Mostly YouTube. Some from um, Periscope. I think we just have Danny there right now. Thanks for watching on Periscope, Danny. Um, Splatulated is over on Twitch right now. And Injured Gamer 1985 is on Mixer right now. So I'm getting chats from all those places. I have uh, Restream.io. I'm actually only streaming to this website called Restream.io. They then connect to my other channels and push out to those channels. So technically, I'm only streaming to one place. But... It's reaching for different places. So that's cool. Restream also has a chat um, client that allows you to read the chats from all four places or as many places you connect all in one spot. So that's how I read all the chats at a time. I hate those guys and they move on you. How dare they do that. They avoid your shots. Ah, we're just gonna dip. Get out, get out Bambi. J.E. says, did you like the first Thor movie? It was okay. I felt like it was a little anticlimactic by the end, but I think I actually liked it better on my second viewing than my first. And I didn't watch it again for like five years. So five years later, I think I enjoyed it better the second time than the first. Beat him up. Rude says, Super Mario 2 is actually Doki Doki Panic, if I'm correct. Ooh. Uh, Ryoka-chan, if you happen to get your hands on both... Super Mario 2, Famicom Disk System, and Doki Doki Panic, Famicom Disk System. I don't know if they're cheap or expensive. I think Mario 2 is cheap. Those would be awesome games for Famicom Disk System, for sure. And yes, you are correct, Rude. Uh, they changed the characters to Mario, Luigi, etc. to sell it to Western audiences. The Lost Levels game in War Mario are sold. All-Stars Aces. All-Stars Aces? Where did Aces come from? It's the Mario Tennis Aces. The Lost Levels game in Mario Tennis All-Stars is the actual Super Mario 2. You are correct. And that is um, so cool they did that. I actually think that I like the rebranded Doki Doki Panic game better as a Mario game. I think it added lots of fun new things to Mario that um, I think I enjoy better than, than the Lost Levels. But I do really appreciate Lost Levels. It's hard, but it is really cool. It is a lot of fun. What I like about uh, Super Mario 2, and in Japan they call it Super Mario 2 USA, um, is that uh, Luigi has his own characteristics. He's faster, he jumps higher, he floats a little bit, 
and he's a little bit slippery on surfaces. So I like that. It gave Luigi his own personality. Unlike the Lost Levels, which doesn't really do much for Luigi. I can't remember if it changes anything about the way Luigi handles or not, but the, uh, the 2 USA changes a lot about Luigi. Uh, JD is here. What's up, man? He says, hi. Hey, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Rioka Chan says, I never dated a gamer, but there was one guy I dated who loved playing Wii games with me. There was, or that was a good time in my life. He was a nice guy, but he wanted to focus on his career. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, there's, there's certain game systems that are just, like, more fun for people to play as party games. Like... Maybe people like to play the 64 party games, but they don't really like video games all that much. They just might like to play the party games. Mario Party, you know? Great stuff. Maybe they like Wii Sports, but they're not a big gamer. Could be. Ah, go away. Little cannon. Uh, JD says, what do you mean by 1,000 special? 1,000 subscriber special. So this is long overdue. Back when I hit a thousand subscribers, my idea was, hey, let's stream all of Mega Man X front to back, because it was one of the first games I ever streamed and one of my favorite games of all time. And I just never got around to it. I just never planned it out. And so this time I just did it. It's just, you know, why put it off any farther? Let's just do it. I love the game. Why wait? So we're not. We're not waiting anymore. We're doing it right now. J uh, John is also asking my dog's okay. So far, she seems okay. Uh, but it may take up to 48 hours before we know for sure. So we'll see if she has any problems. Ryoka Chan says, I can't see myself in a relationship again. I just love my lifestyle, work, and play and watch anime. I think I've become asexual. Is that the term? As I've gotten older. Yeah. No, that's, that's natural. That's a natural thing, actually, as you get older anyway. But, um... A relationship isn't necessary. I mean, sorry, relationships, as in any type of relationship, those are necessary. You need friends, you need family, you need people you can talk to, interact with, um, share laughter and, and joy and, and sorrow and, and pain with, you know, the human experience. You know, you got to share that with somebody. But you don't need to date anybody. You don't need to marry anybody. It is not a necessity in this life. For some people, it is. Other people, it's not. Now, that being said, not looking for a relationship is a great way to find one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it might happen at any point. JD says, I call the Red and White Famicom Family Computer because it is on the console, but nobody says Family Computer, though. Huh? You know that Famicom literally stands for Family Computer. So when you're calling it Famicom... You're calling it Family Computer. You're just shortening the title. When you get a Famicom, it doesn't say Famicom on it. It says Family Computer. It's the Nintendo Family Computer. Oh, wait. We know how to beat this guy easy. Where is it? The homing missiles. I don't have to do anything but sit here and jump and shoot homing missiles. Okay, that time I had to avoid one attack. Look at this punk. There's nothing he can do. He tries to be so tricky, and if you do not have those missiles, he is a very hard boss. He is very hard for sure. Yes! That's all the bosses. We gotta get some more secrets, and then we'll move on to the, I think there's three final stages, and then a three-stage final boss. So there's plenty of content left to this game. Let's see. Oh, hang on. There's kind of a, a lot of chats here. JD says, I called the... Oh, I already read that one. My bad. Ryoko Chan says, I have those games, Jay. They were cheap. Don't worry. I'll pick them up for you, lol. I wasn't going to buy it for you without picking up something to play on it. Uh, it's actually postage that'll cost the most. I bet it will. And I and I could totally pay postage for you. Because that is a lot. Ryoko Chan says, I find it so funny that, because it just goes to show how expensive the retro market is at the moment. It is very expensive. Actually, even in America, sometimes it's cheaper to buy the Japanese version of the video game than it is the American version. 
Like, if I want to buy a Mega Man game for NES or Super Nintendo, it's cheaper for me to buy the Super Famicom or the Famicom game and ship it here. Still cheaper than getting the US versions. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right, looks like we're forced right into the end, one of the end levels right away, but we will, after this, have to replay it again. Because if you don't play the final levels in succession, you'll start over. So we'll end up having to play this level again. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. Sounds good, Zero. Oh, never mind. That was just a little cutscene. Okay, so, uh, one upgrade we need is here. Uh, Ryoka Chan says, it's weird though, every time I go to Japan, someone in my family or a friend will ask me to pick up a disc system wall. Really? <laughs> or a Japanese SNES. I've come back with so many over the years. Wow, seriously, that's awesome. Oh no, this is the level that's affected by Storm Eagle. Look, there's bits of ship on here. So when the ship crashed, it broke this level. You can see some of these pipes are broken. And we're about to have some electrical problems. The lights are going to keep going on, on and off. See? It gets totally dark, the lights come back, it gets totally dark, the lights come back. So, very, very different level now that we've beaten Storm Eagle. Okay, so there's an E-Tank, and the only way to get it is with the Boomerang. I think I have to jump for it. There we go. Now we have all four E-Tanks. And all the powers, we might need... A couple more um, heart upgrades. I can think of at least two more that we haven't gotten yet. But I think this level is done, so I think we can just leave. JD says, it finally rained in England. No more heat waves. Oof, no good heat waves. Danny says, okay, I gotta ask, how old are you? I can't believe you have a job and are married already. <laughs> I'm actually 28. And in a couple of months, I'll be 29. So I'm probably a little bit older than you thought, huh? Yeah, um, I got married back in 2012. So, wow, six years of marriage this year. And we were dating for four years. Sorry, we were dating for two years. We were engaged for two years. So this is actually 10 years of being together with Lauren. So it's been a long time already. More than a third of my life already. Ten years with her. Amazing. Uh, okay, hang on. Lots of chats. Uh, where to go? Let's go here. Uh, JD says, I know, but I say it the long way. All right. That's cool. JD says, like, I don't say PSP or PS4. Okay. That's cool. So I want to learn Japanese. I'm right there with you on that one. For sure. JD then says, I'm playing the Octo Expansion, it's really cool. I haven't tried that yet. Rude says, yes, here too, JD. There was no rain for two months in the Netherlands. Ryoko Chan says, my friend paid 600 pounds. Whoa! For a copy of a Mega Man game on SNES. I can't remember which game it was. I'm not clued up in the series, but wow, that is expensive. Um, off the top of my head, first of all, they overpaid regardless. But... That game is either probably X3, which is the most rare of the Mega Man X games, or possibly Mega Man Soccer or Mega Man 7. I still think that X3 is probably the most expensive Mega Man game, but I guess I haven't checked in a little while. But no matter what, 600 pounds is way too much money, even for Mega Man X3, which normally sells somewhere in like the 300 plus dollar range. Dollars, not pounds. So 600 pounds is more like eight, nine hundred dollars. So they paid way too much. JD says, yeah, usually England has a lot of rain, but in the last two weeks it's been like 40. Oh, I guess 40 Celsius, which must be hot, I guess. Splashlet says, 5J accidentally got shouted out by the developers of Party Hard by asking if their game was dead. And now my question is, embedded directly into the latest developer update note with a whole post around it and how they're going to start making uh, noise about the game they're working on. Okay, well that's awesome. Boy, I wish I could accidentally get a big shout out from somebody. 
<laughs> for my channel. Just accidentally get Ninja to advertise my channel on his on his channel. Wouldn't that be great? Well. Uh, Chelsea has to take off. Thanks for hanging out with us, Chelsea. Hope to see you next time. Boss says, wow, I'm late to the stream. Also, hi, Jay. Hey, how's it going? We're playing this game till the game is done, though, so I don't even know when it's going to end. I just know that it will ends when when Sigma dies. Or does he? Of course he doesn't. There's seven more X7 games. And like Bowser or Ganondorf, you know, or Ganon, uh, he's always the boss. He's always the boss. So you always know he's never actually dead. You've never actually defeated him. Doesn't matter how many times Bowser ends up in lava, he's never killed by it. Because everybody likes him. Uh, Ryoka chances to JD, it's been way too hot, ain't it? I, I've not even wanted to pick up a controller because of it. I've bathed in my own sweat, it feels like. Ooh, gross. Turn on your AC. <laughs> JD says 80 levels for $20. That's good either way you look for it. You look at it, you mean? 80 levels for $20. What what game is that? Uh, Brujo X, thank you for watching. Says, I hate how you can't map dash to a trigger button on Xbox or PS4. Well, I'm playing on Super Nintendo, so I can't uh, map to a trigger button, but I think that you can map to a shoulder button. I just don't remap though. I just changed how I grip the controller. I have an index finger wrapped around to the A button while I use my thumb on the Y and B buttons. I'm going to get away from these spikes and then I'll show you what I mean. I've showed the people a few times. So shoot, jump, dash, don't you dash off the edge. So I keep my index finger on there so I can be charging and jumping and dashing all at the same time. If I can actually get all three to happen. There we go without dying. So I don't remap at all. I leave it as is. But that's how I played as a kid, because I don't think I even knew that you could remap it as a kid. So that's probably more born out of stupidity than anything. Honestly. Just being a dumb kid. But seriously, we rented this game dozens of times. So good. Special says, 5J, can you play Mother Gunship or Enter the Gungeon? Or a hat in time because it's the cutest, most adorable thing ever and should be played at some point. Uh, I'm not going to make any promises on any of those games, unfortunately. Like I said, reduced budget. Also, there's just way too many games that I want to play, including I would love to do playthroughs of all the Mega Man X games because they're so good. It's one of my favorite series of all time, but I haven't beaten any but the first one. I've gotten to Sigma on several of them and then never beaten it because Sigma was so hard, I just gave up. So, I want to actually beat these games. All right, and as soon as we get this, we're done with this level. Bing, look at that. I actually have more health now than I have weapon energy. That's a lot of health. Uh, Rick Chan says, it was X3J. As soon as you said it, the light bulb turned on in my head. Thank goodness they aren't all that expensive. Well, X is still a a more expensive game on Super Nintendo, but it's not crazy by any means. You might pay thirty to fifty dollars for it, somewhere in there. Uh, X two also very expensive though. That's hundred plus, maybe two hundred plus. So yeah, they get expensive quick. So thank goodness the X collection came out, so you can play them without having to pay lots of money. IG says, Rage 2 is a great game coming out. Rage 2? Oh, 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 I was thinking of Primal Rage, the dinosaur fighting game. No, Rage, yes, I get you. I get you. Well, let's see. Any upgrades I haven't gotten yet? Um, there's one that I'm not going to show you until later. If at all, because... Because... I don't even want to go into it. Oh, there's one more in Sting Chameleon we haven't gotten yet. Because we needed to beat Launch Octopus first. 
Bosses is tomorrow. I may or not watch this. May or may not watch the stream because the next day I will be at work. I hear ya. I hear ya. That's all right. Bumped the uh, camera there. JD says the the second I went to the barbers, it poured down with rain. I was so happy. Nice. The Phoenix is here. What's up, Phoenix? Says hey, five J. What's up, Phoenix? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for watching. Little axe chopper. I don't get is why axe chopper is in the winter level and this level. Probably makes more sense in this level, but he was also in the winter level. Maybe he was chopping wood for a fire. Trying to keep toasty. Splatoon says, wish they had another $17 because they would buy 5J the current bundle. <laughs> XX rip wallets. That's okay, dude. JD says, Jay, I feel like I'm better than you at Mega Man. Lol. Okay. Good for you. Is that... Why, why do you make that comment? Trying to make me feel bad or elicit some other reaction? Okay, good. Have fun. Glad you enjoy it. Hey, come here. Why are you not dashing? There we go. Gotta get the dash jump or it doesn't work. It also has to be full of water or it doesn't work, which is why you have to eat launch octopus first. first. There we go. Uh, JD says, I can't get into Paladins because... question marks. Okay. Ah. Yeah, all those Mega Man games, I feel like I'm playing games better now than back then. Which is great. Because, as a kid, sometimes you just, you don't connect dots, or you're stubborn about playing it a certain way, or you're just not figuring out the pattern like you should be. So hopefully when I go to play the other X games, they won't be as hard as I remembered them being because hopefully I'm just better. Maybe I'm not. My reactions have slowed or something, but so far I've been playing through this pretty well. It's not been without mistakes, but it's okay. I don't play that game, this game that much to memorize everything. I still feel like we're absolutely destroying everything around here. Uh, let's see, Spotchin says, email, is it tracking number? No, it's the last, it's the lame test server for a game still in alpha. What? I don't know what you're talking about. JD says, no, it's because you didn't beat Sigma, lol. Well, like I said, I played them as a kid. You know, this game came out in 93, so I would have been four when this game came out. I don't remember how old I was when I was playing it. But we also didn't own the game, so we had a limited amount of time to play it and beat it. Uh, Ryoko Chan says, trying to think of some games to add to my collection. It's great because I never overpay like I'd overpay here. If any business tried charging what resellers do, they'd be uh, they'd be shamed out of business. That's actually kind of cool. At least for consumers. I mean, it's probably a little bit harder to have a successful business that way, but it's still it's consumer friendly, which is nice. Let's see. We got the upgrade we needed. So, is there anything else I need? Did I miss any other heart upgrades? Boss says, I got myself a job to get a PS4 and games for it. Nice. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this in case anything happens and I can't continue. Like, like if some sort of power things happens. I would hate to reset the game on accident and then not be able to continue, so... Taking a screenshot of that. Bill the Platypus is here and says, What's up? Hey, Pill. How's it going? Uh, Ryoko Chan says, Paladins is good, but needs more play modes. Feels like I'm the only I'm only playing for the Battle Pass. Smite has five game modes and a limited time mode every week, which keeps the game fun for longer periods. Well, here's the thing, Ryoko Chan. This game just came out of beta. I, th I think it was in May. So this game is actually just in um, final release recently. Otherwise, it's been in beta all this time. So I think there's a good chance we're going to get more play modes, but it's still a very new game. Especially it says, 5J, I ordered a $100 heatsink earlier today at 4 a.m. And then I have been waiting for a tracking number since payment has, was confirmed and bank was charged, but no tracking number yet. Ooh, a $100 heatsink. Ooh, must be a nice one. IG says, Rage and Rage 2 is based upon a, an asteroid that hits Earth, but is actually supposed to pass Earth. 
Oh, that's how it gets to be that kind of post-apocalyptic world. Splashlight says, also the item is now listed as out of stock. Well, fingers crossed, I guess. JD says, hang on, that isn't a gaming phone? What isn't a gaming phone? My mom made chocolate chip cookie bars. Oh, John Early. Oh, we got JD and JE making chats right next to each other. Ooh, sounds good, cookie bars. JD says, I got the Razer phone. Nice. IG says, the asteroid is supposed to pass Earth in 2036. Ooh, that's a ways out there. Splash says, 5J Canada prices and for my GPU. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Canada dollar is not quite as strong as the U.S. dollar. Bill says, everything's good. How about you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Okay, I got the heart here. I got the heart and the E-Tank. And there's one other thing I don't want to tell you about. We didn't get that because it's kind of a spoiler. We got the heart here. We got the heart. Might have been an E-Tank. I forget. We got the heart and the E-Tank. We got the heart and the E-Tank and the upgrade. I think we have everything except the Haruken. But I think I think we're going to do some of these final levels before we do the Haruken. I don't remember if we... I think we have to have every upgrade. So I want to get the upgrade the traditional way. So we're going to have to replay some of these levels, but it's okay. I think it's better for showing you guys how awesome this game is. Let's split up. I'll go in first, and then you can slip in while I keep the main defenses the defense force is busy. Thanks, Zero. Zero is so cool. Special says it's like $51 in the USA Newegg 5J. 51 Whoa. That's... I didn't realize that it's twice as strong. Strange. Special says grand subtotal $89.99. Oh, I see. Handling, shipping. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Rude says you need one more thing. He says, yes, that was it. Okay. Had to make sure. But I want to get I want to get that one the way you're meant to get it. And then I'll show you guys the secret way to get it later. Because I think it's really cool to experience it the legitimate way the first time. And some of you folks might not have played this far in this game. Or maybe you've never played this game. So I want to show this game the way it was meant. And then I'll show you the secrets the extra secrets upgrades are like secrets you're supposed to find and then there's some extra super secrets oh what am i doing the easy way to get through here no 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 stop that you're wasting all of my oh that's right never mind sorry i had something else on my mind i'll have to show you later what it was. Whoa. There is no easy way to get through this part. Not now. Ah. These little flying guys are the worst. Dying here is common. Because they are devious little buggers. Okay. We can do this. This is the last one, I think. Good. We've got it. guy up. All the robot designs are so awesome. Man, I love this game. Hey, that's our final um, E-Tank is full. All four E-Tanks. We are maximum power in that one. Uh, JD says, Ryoko-chan, why did you change profiles? Did you change profiles? Bill says, have you played Baldi's Basics yet? There's two games so far. One is a demo and one is a full game. Nope, I've never heard of it. Ryoko Chan says, crack the Z. What? Don't go blue? What? What are you talking about? JE says, me and my cousin were stupid when we played this game because Zero had long hair. We thought he was a girl robot. No, I hear you. I thought the same thing. Also, when you look at his armor uh, in some of the games, he has like these two jewels on his chest and we were children. We're like, oh, must be a girl. <laughs> it was just, we just accepted it. Long hair, got the big jewels on the chest. Must be a girl. Nope. It's a dude. The dude with some sweet armor and a massive ponytail. 
Hydro Kickins here says, yo, am I late? Yeah, you're a bit late, but that's okay. We still got plenty of the game left to play because we're going to have to replay a little bit of it because I want to show you the legitimate way to get one upgrade and then the secret way to get it. I think we're on the path. Yes. Oh, man. Look at this. We get to fight Vile, which we haven't seen since the very, very beginning of the game in the intro level, and you couldn't even hurt him. Completely impossible. So Zero steps in. Stay back, X. I'll take him on. Then they go fight. You're like, oh man, I gotta see this. So you go in there to see what's going on. And you hear the fight. And that's it. And you're like, what happened? And we're gonna find out what happened. Uh, Spotchen says, at 5J, what if you're both wrong and she is a trap? A trap? Extra trap? Bill says, they're called Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning Full and Baldi's Basics Field Trip Demo. What sort of games are these? I don't even know. I've never heard of them. Hydra says, awesome. I'll be here, 5J. Sounds good, man. Roka Chan says, go away, Bill. This ain't your place. What? Bill says, Baldi's Basics is intended to be horror games. Ryoko-chan, why are you telling somebody to go away? What's happening? Okay, let's go check out what's going on in here. We heard a battle. We know they fought. Oh, he's in a cage. Zero lost. X, do what I tell you, or he's history. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. Well, we know my weapons are 30 years old. So once again, he doesn't even have a health meter. Like, you still are completely unable to beat this guy. He's still so much more powerful than you, and you can try sub-weapons and do your best, and you cannot defeat him. You're completely helpless to beat this guy. It doesn't matter if you shoot him in the face or in his armor. He's just going to track you down. It doesn't matter how big your health meter is, right? Because we had a tiny health meter before. Our health meter is like three times the size that it used to be. Bam, bam. You can't beat him, man. You can't beat him. So once again, he captures you with that thing. And he chuckles. Oh, but Zero breaks out! Maybe, but I'm not through yet! Yeah, buddy, blast him. Go Zero. And there goes his special suit. What a worthless gesture! I can't be defeated so easily. So, X, it's just you and me now. Oh yeah, he powers himself back up. He's like, Zero, your sacrifice, bro. I got you. What the? Where did that energy come from? It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You are still far from, far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. All right there, Arnold Schwarzenegger. There's once again an easy way to face him, and it's this. This is the easy way to take him out. Jump and homing missile. It's all you need. He's toast. Yes! Take that! How good does that feel? That punk has been a thorn in our side since the go. Since the get-go. Since the word go. And now, he's toast. Ooh. Speaking of toast. You're more powerful than you were before. But Sigma is much more than he appears to be. You're going to need an edge. Take my arm cannon and your attack power should increase. Good luck, X. And then... He's gone. 
but look at that. You can charge your weapon now up a third level and it shoots that crazy beam. In addition to that, you can now charge your secondary weapons and they have a second different attack. Like this one makes you invincible, like invisible. You can just pass through people. Like, oh man, that is so cool. Another reason this game is so good. Uh, let's check on some chats now since we kind of did a lot of uh, just narrating there. Especially this is 5G, uh, a boy, but they wear girl's clothing. They look like a girl, but it's a boy all along. I think you're either talking about a person dressing drag or you're talking about a trans individual, I think is what you're getting at there. JD says, Game Theory played it. Played what? Baldi's Basics? Hydra says, how old is this game? 1993, so very old. Very old. Rick says, I'm having fun, 5J. Don't be rude. <laughs> what? What is going on here? Uh, Spectre says, when does 5J get pie? When do I get pie? Oh, man. Like, never. Actually, I take it back. I'm going on vacation in a couple of weeks. So, unfortunately, I won't be streaming for almost a whole week. Um, and along the way, there's a place called Betty's Pies. And I will be getting some very delicious pie. So that's when I get pie. About two weeks from now. Might be getting pie on the way up and the way back. Maybe. We'll see. See how I feel about it. Uh, Bill says, I'm not going to exit a stream. One of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you, Bill. Glad to hear that. Hydra says, what's going on in this chat? Ryoko's channel is a fake or a copycat, I think. I think there's a second Ryoko-chan? Because Ryoko-chan is definitely a regular and a normal account, but you think that somebody copied Ryoko-chan's account? You see any difference in the name? I don't see any spaces or anything. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, especially as it's 5J, you just cut off the arm of a dead guy and attached it to yours? No, he gave it up willingly. He willingly gave me his arm. And actually, this is the easiest way to get through this area. You charge up and use this ability. Because otherwise, this part is like super frustrating. These dudes in the walls and flying at you and stuff. Oh, this part is really awful. But if you use this, you can pretty much bypass all of it. It ran out just at the end there, but we're mostly okay. So, yes. Oh yes, Boomer Koanga's back. Which means we need to use more of these missiles. Oh, see that's one of his attacks he didn't get to use on us before. Nice. Destroyed. Uh, let's see. JD says, no, it's because if you go to her channel, it still has the anime profile in... Huh? Uh, JD says, go to vacation to London. Say hi, lol. Man, I can't afford a vacation to London, unfortunately. I'm just going to a northern area of Minnesota. A place called the North Shore, along the northern um, shore of Lake Superior. It's an amazing area. Very, very cool. Okay, chances is lol. Is there another Ryoko chan? We don't know. I don't know. It's being. There were some comments that didn't seem to match what we would expect typically from Ryoko chan there. So we were kind of wondering if there might be some sort of copycat account. Yes! Very good. We need a little bit more health. Actually, a little bit more weapon energy would be nice, too. If they would actually drop something. Come on. There we go. It's a lot of weapon energy. Okay. I think that's probably good. Uh, let's see... 
Jay says, I miss going to Baker Square. Bill says, Ryoko has nothing on his channel. I think it's a she, I think. I might be wrong about that. But, um... That, that could just be a normal YouTube account if somebody doesn't create content. Special says, is 5G actually a ghost chef? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Special says, 5G using wall hacks? Blasphemy. Wall hacks? I'm not using any hacks of any kind. Rookie Chan says, I'm playing, guys. Just laughing, lol. Who's the other Ryoko? Maybe it wasn't another one. Who knows? Doesn't matter, as long as there's no problems in here. JD says, the chat is like the Matrix. Bill says, I'm going to St. Augustine very soon. Oh, in Florida? Nice. Very cool. Special says, can 5J buy pizza or something epic like ice cream? Actually, there's this place in Grand Marais, which we'll be visiting, um, that has a wood fire pizza oven and has um, ice cream. I, it might be frozen custard, I forget. But it is so good. It's called Sydney's. Oh, so great. We'll definitely be getting pizza and ice cream there on vacation. Bill says, did you know that St. Augustine, Florida was the first city in the whole USA? Really? Interesting. Is it from one of the early Spanish explorers there? This spider can be very hard. Sometimes I still struggle facing this spider. So hopefully we can get him in one try. So far, we're doing well. It doesn't mean things aren't going to go extremely poorly out of nowhere. We're halfway through. He hasn't even dropped any of his little spider supports yet. Sometimes he'll just throw out a bunch of little spiders. Oh, he got me all the way over there. See, that's where it starts getting tough. Trying to predict where he's going to go. I can't believe he hasn't dropped any spiders yet. This is crazy. Ah. See, he's catching up to me, health-wise. I gotta keep making some... Yeah, there we go. There are some of them spiders. Ah. You do more damage and you hit him with a charge shot. So, I hate missing those. Well, his eye is closed. The eye in the middle of his back. He doesn't really do much in the way of damage. See how fast he's going now? So I can be so hard to figure out where this guy's going. There we go. Nice. Okay, we didn't do too bad on that guy. Whoa, a bunch of chats. I hardly looked away. Special says, wants leftover B-Day cake, but it's three weeks old, and the last slice they had was 3% rock hard and stale. J.E. says, Iron Man 2, yay or nay? I enjoy it. It's definitely not the best game, game, best um, of the Marvel Universe, but I enjoy it. J.D. says, yay, but Iron Man 3, nay. Oh, man, I like 3. Splatulated says, but that was last week probably all rock now. Yeah. Rip cake. Rip cake indeed. Bill says Ponce de Leon founded St. Augustine. Okay, I was wondering if it was like Hernando de Soto or something. He discovered the, the Mississippi, right? Bill says J.E. I have Iron Man 1 and 3. Rico Chan says I'm tripping, ha. <laughs> don't, don't be doing that. Okay, so. Jamie says today is travel history day, right? Okay, guys. I gotta look up how to get the Hudoken, because you have to do some very specific things. And I don't want to just try and fail, because I got one little detail wrong. But we're going to get the Hudoken right now. We've got everything else. We should be all set to go. Mega Man X. Hudoken. I misspelled it. There it is. Let's see if that does it. We'll knock a few of these and see, or open a few of these tabs. See if we can find it. Okay, items required. Four lives, all heart upgrades, all sub tanks, all weapons. Okay, I think we have all of that. It is in... Uh, I guess I could also show you quickly one other hidden secret in this level. 
Goku Chan says, also, I'm a girl, just FYI. See, I thought so. I thought so. It can always be hard to tell with um, usernames. So, but thank you for clarifying. Uh, JD says, looking at this chat, I'm tripping, lol. Oh, boy. Uh, JD's talking with Jamie. Uh, everyone's greeting Jamie, even though Jamie's kind of been here for a while. He's just been silent. Bill says, for some reason, I'm tripping too. Well, I guess, I don't know what was going on there. I guess it was just a weird moment. Oh, nope, we already passed it. Okay. Right here, up there, is an area you can break with your helmet. And it's the only place that your helmet ability ever comes in handy. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, yes! Oh, no! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, there's nothing here. But if you go here before you get to that boss, that vile fight, and, you know, Zero dies, and you get his arm upgrade, you can get the same arm cannon upgrade in an upgrade capsule right here. But only, of course, if you didn't already get the arm upgrade. So I wanted to show you guys the story method of getting the, the arm upgrade, you know, the way they want you to do it, and then this hidden way to do it. So if you get up here, as soon as you get the leg upgrade and the helmet upgrade, you can immediately go in here and get the cannon upgrade. So you can be using those uh, upgraded um, secondary weapons, you know, the charged versions, earlier in the game if you want to. Okay, so that's it. I think that's all we needed. We can exit now. I just wanted to show you guys that where another, another secret was. J.E. says, do you recommend the Retron 5J? Yes, I do. Um, especially to folks that have lots of different retro systems. Because it plays, I think, nine, ten. It plays ten different systems if you get the uh, attachment that does Game Gear games. So it does Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, Famicom, Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, Genesis, Mega Drive. Uh, it also does Master System. I guess that's ten already. But there's two different types of Master System games. Um, so if you get the attachment, it does Master System cart cartridges and Master System cards and Game Gear. So technically it does 11 diff or 12 different kinds of retro games. So if you have a lot of different kinds of games, yes, it's good stuff. Splatulated throws a plush tiger at 5J. Ow, that hurt. Wait, no way to plush tiger. That's Hobbs of Calvin and Hobbs. Yes, I love Hobbs. Uh, Jimmy says, yeah, I'm doing some computer work, so sorry, so silent gang. I'm here. No problem, Jamie. No problem. Says, nice jumping, Jay. That's hard to do. Yeah, I normally don't get it the first try, but I got it the first time. Bill says, Vine, music, Beyonce, bring the best in person that's carrying an onion on a plate and running. Anything for you, Beyonce? I have never heard of this Vine or meme, or whatever that is, but I hope that's funny. <laughs> Spot says, how does a plushie hurt? It hurts my feelings. You threw it. My heart, it's broken. It's soft for snuggles. Yes, it is. Okay, uh, I'm going to continue reading this walkthrough, make sure I do the right things. Okay, how to obtain... Yep. Make sure you have full health when you get to the ledge. Oh. Quickly jump into the pit below and die. That's quicker than restarting the level every time you get to the ledge. You have to do this three times after defeating the armadillo. Yes. If done correctly, you will see an upgrade capsule next to the health. It contains Street Fighter Hadouken. Okay, that seems a little unclear. I'm going to read a different one, see if it's better. Jamie says, Bill, you are weird. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, Spock says, asked if I played Party Hard. No, I have not played that. Uh, step one, acquire all heart tanks. Acquire all sub tanks. Acquire all X upgrades. Yep. Make sure you defeat every boss and complete every stage in the game. Yep. Get the Hadouken. The actual upgrade is located on the ground mines. Yep. Make sure you have at least four lives. Before, right before you enter the boss room, on a boss room, you'll get on a platform cart. There will be some flying robot birds. You reach the end of the platform, it will fly out of the mines in daylight. The goal is to jump up the platform right before it hits a wall 
and climb up to the top where you find a health capsule. Grab the health capsule and then jump off the ledge. Repeat this process three times, and on the fourth time around, the upgrade tanker will appear with the most powerful attack. Okay. That's what I'm going to have to do. That is the plan. Uh, let's see. Jamie says, I'm so excited. I've never obtained the Hadouken myself. I'm sure I spelled it wrong. It needs an O in there, but I, I spelled it without the U, so we, we had opposite mistakes. Boss says, guys, what games should I get when I get a PS4? All of them. No, uh, God of War seems like a, a necessary one. Um, Bloodborne seems like a necessary one. It's very hard, though, so if you don't like hard games, then I guess you can skip it. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn. I want to get Neo. Neo looks awesome. Uh, let's see. JD says, lol, I'm laughing so hard. Uh, uh, Jamie says, Red Dead Redemption 2 when it comes out in 2021. 2021? Ugh. Yeah, let's hope it doesn't take that long. But yeah, it does keep getting delayed, doesn't it? Looking forward to that game. Ah. Ah. Show your little face, punk. Uh, let's see. Jay says, do you like Kingdom Hearts? I do, but I haven't played very much of it. Jay says, Bill, I saw your content, and well, clap and a half to you. Game theory reference. Okay. So I says, 5J, what is the greatest thing on your desk that is not part of your PC? Well, I guess at the moment it would be my, uh, my analog Super NT, which is playing Mega Man X right now. Otherwise, there's not a lot on the desk. Some various remotes and controllers. My phone. A water bottle. Like, there's not a lot on this desk because it's not a very large desk because I didn't want it to be a large desk. I only use it for streaming, really, so I don't need it to take up most of the room. So I wanted it to be small. It is small. It does just what I need it to do, and that's it. Goes up and down, though. That's nice. All right, all right. Uh, Rude says, Pal uh, "Party hard is a fun, is fun in a sarcastic way. Your neighbors are having a party and did not invite you. They're playing music too loud. Conclusion: Everybody must die." Oh, you know, I've actually heard of that game. And that game does actually look like it's pretty fun. <laughs> so I could get on board that game. Yeah, I forgot about that. And you're trying not to get caught by the cops, right? As you're murdering everyone in there. Not exactly a, a morally upstanding game, but it seems like entertaining. Uh, Spatchet says, isn't RD2 coming out November 13th and Hitman 2 November 14th? We'll see. We'll see. Not the first time an announced date has been pushed. Rude says, it's a modern game, but it's drawn in 8-bit style. Jamie says, that sounds like fun. Rude, everything I'm playing these days is modern with an 8 or 16-bit style. I'm, I'm kind of getting worn out in the 8-bit styles. I'm cool with 16-bit. I think I think 16-bit opens up a lot more artistic possibilities than 8-bit does. So I, I like I like more of the 16-bit stuff these days because 8-bit has been done to death. Though, of course, 8-bit is still nice. I'm just like ready for people to move on to a new style for every single indie game. Bossy says, I can pre-order Red Dead Redemption 2 for five pounds. Five pounds? In America, it's five dollars, which is less money than that. Just saying. All right, if I do this correctly. Okay, so one. And then die. We gotta do that three more times. Such as 5J, I love Party Hard 2. It got I got all good at it, but and then beat it, and the DLC was easier than I wanted it to be. But maybe it's because I got good at the game. Yeah. That could very well be what happened. Wow, that fire's doing Whoa! That charged fire did way more damage than I thought it would. JD says, I pre-ordered Metroid Prime 4 for £5 since last year in August. Not even a joke, lol. Yeah. They do that at GameStop. 
because they, they know it'll come out eventually, in a case like Metroid Prime 4 at least. Some games don't ever come out. Somebody with a Half-Life 3 pre-order. Well, Jamie says, ever since watching Jay play Death Road to Canada, I've been playing that a lot. Oh, isn't that fun? So good. Such as, wait, Party Hard 1, 2 isn't out yet. Okay, I thought so. Ah, uh, Roka Chan says, what's the difference between dollars and bucks? Bucks is just a slang term for dollars. Hundred bucks, hundred dollars. Smackers. Less common, but, you know, just other terms for dollar. Like, uh, in the UK, right, you call a quid the same thing as a pound, right? When something is hundred, hundred quid, then it's a hundred pounds. Same thing. Other terms like that, right? You have similar slang terms for your money. Uh, Rude says, did you know that the creator of the original Castlevania has recently created Bloodstained Curse of the Moon? Yes, and it's amazing. It's available through Steam. It looks playable. It looks and plays like original Castlevania. Dude, it is so good. It is so good. It's on Switch, too. And man, it's so good. And there's secret unlockable extras that I have not done yet. Hopefully, I didn't mess it up by not jumping there directly. Okay, that's two. JD says, why are no games in 32-bit? I don't know. I think they should be. Rude says... Oh, buddy, read that one. Rude says, just with different characters and new possibilities and music. Oh, I love it. I love it. It is seriously one of the best Castlevania games ever made, and it's not even Castlevania, technically. So, no, I'm, I'm right there with you. Excellent game. Absolutely excellent. J.E. says, have you ever been to a bar, Jay? Of course. Of course I have. I don't really uh, drink much, so even... Uh, sometimes I'll go and I'll just be eating there, you know? Because a lot of bars aren't just... Um, aren't just serving drinks. They're often a restaurant as well. Oh, man, I love that cluster blast. So cool. Okay, technically that's three. Maybe we're done now. Maybe the next time it'll be there. Jimmy says, on Switch? How much? I'd buy that. I think it's only like 10 bucks. Like, it's not much. Maybe 15. I can't imagine it's more than 20. At the most, but I'm pretty sure it's 10 bucks. Pretty sure. JD says, I got Bloodstained on 3DS. Nice. Riz says, that's on Switch too? Yes, yes it is. It belongs on Switch. And the developer is Inti Creates, who, by the way, developed Mega Man Zero, the, that whole series in Mega Man ZX. Um, so they are veterans of the Mega Man and classic um, platforming action games. Um, yes! Okay, let me finish my thought. Um, Inti Creates, Mega Man Zero, um, they've made lots of stuff for Switch. So I think that when they make games, they want it to be on Switch because they're obviously heavily inspired by Switch. Uh, let's see. This is cool. I didn't know that. JD says, yes, Rico Chan says, I always say quid gives it more emphasis like 50 quid. That's a bargain, feller. <laughs> uh, Jamie Pat says, cool. Appreciate that. So I says, why did 5J commit suicides? What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, Marsupial says, there it is, Bloodstained Curse of the Mood, 10 bucks on US Switch eShop. Yes. Also, welcome, Marsupial Gamer. Card Games Against Predacons. Welcome, thank you for watching. Says, I really want them to make a Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Oh, me too. I would love that so much. Would you include Star Force or not? Because they're very similar games. I don't know. Marsupial says, I haven't heard of that. I'll have to check it out on Switch. Jimmy says, 10 bucks US? I'll buy that today. I bought a game called Oxenfree for today for five bucks. Anyone ever play that? I've heard it's good. I've never played it. I don't know if I'll get around to it. JE says, the pills I'm taking are supposed to be taken with, with alcohol? I think you mean without, with no alcohol. Yeah, you can't drink. Yeah, that's pretty common. There's a lot of pills out there that you can't take with any alcohol or they will have severely bad effects. Uh, Special says, 5J, you got the thing, then just jumped to your death and redid the level. We did it, redid it three times so we could get this. And I'll show you what it is in just a moment since you seem to have missed some of what I was doing here. 
Our soup is supposed to be taken with alcohol or not supposed to be. Yeah, there was a there was a knot there missing. There's definitely a knot missing there. Okay, guys, this is a special upgrade that you can only get after you've beaten all the bosses, got all the hard upgrades, got all the E-Tanks, and then have done that jump that I did three times, and on the fourth time, this upgrade capsule is here. Let's check it out. Look at Dr. Light. He looks a little interesting, doesn't he? I give you a special present now. Enter the capsule, please. He's showing off his arms. He looks buff, you know, for like what appears to be an overweight old scientist man. He's got some buff arms going there. You can see some muscle definition. What is this? I love this is actually in the game. I thought it was a myth as a kid. I thought it was fake. It's not fake. Hadouken! See? It's actually in here, and he actually says, Broken! <laughs> it will kill any enemy, including bosses, in a single hit. Isn't that ridiculous? I love it. Marsupa says, Yes, I'm back. The other stream I was watching ended, thinking I might try streaming Metroid Return of Samus emulated. I also own it, but how do I... How do I do touchscreen on emulator? I don't know. I don't know. Do you have to do touch screen? Because I feel like a lot of games you can change things. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to get a hardware modified 3DS so that I can stream without mo an emulator. Uh, Dio Brando's watching. Thank you so much for watching. Is my doctor prescribed? Nope. That's not a chat I'm going to read. This is a family friendly stream. Sorry there, Dio Brando. Uh, Marsupia says, Ooh, this does look good. Might get it too. You should. So good. Aspacha uh, says, Did you waste it? All is their cooldowns. What? I'm not sure what you're asking there. Is there a cooldown? No, you can use this as much as you want. How sweet is that? We still got four lives, so we're going to go escape. And now we're going to do the final levels. There's several final levels we have to do. Uh, let's see. Marsupial says, Sweet! Jamie says, ha, his voice is so puny. Amazing. Yeah, I don't know why it's so, like, high pitch and fast. Like, why can't he just say it slower? I get it. It has, they, like, put it in line with the animation, but, like, seriously. It's so wimpy. Or at least give him a deeper voice. Hadouken. You know, he doesn't have to be, Hadouken. Rude says, does it kill Sigma in one hit, too? It does. It kills, so the final boss is three stages, and it kills both of the first two stages in one hit. The third stage, there is no way that you can actually reach him with the Hidoken. It will never actually reach him. So you actually cannot beat the game, the final boss, the final final boss, with the Hidoken. It's not possible. I guess maybe there's a way to hack the game and make it possible, but... They designed it so that you can't reach him with the attack. So, they wanted to make sure, even if you cheated a little bit and had the special Hidoken, that you had to legit beat the last um, iteration of Sigma. Uh, let's see. Uh, skipping JD's references there. Now I know what that meme is, and it's not appropriate, JD. Um, Special says, 5J has 5J Dark Souls the Third. Are you saying, do I have Dark Souls 3? No, I don't have it. Rookie Chan says, you thought he was going to read a nice comment, but it was Dio. <laughs> yep, he says, whoops, I didn't know it was family friendly. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Marshall says, Mega Man and Captain N cartoon. I thought... Uh, had a ridiculously low voice, lol. Yeah, that's true. There's extremes that you can have. Rude says, Sigma is the end boss of this game, right? He's the end boss of every X game. I don't know how you can kill a guy so many times and he's not dead, but yeah. Oh! Well, this is cool because I've never actually faced Chill Penguin with the thing that he's weak to, which I can only assume must be the fire. How does he do with it? 
Yes, he lights on fire. That's awesome. So the first time we faced him, we defeated him without getting hit once. Already we got hit, because we're just trying to mess around with this power. Look at how effective it is. It is crazy effective. Ah, I'm just being stupid now. But you guys saw me beat him without taking a single hit. It's very easy to do with this boss. I'm just being a dummy. A uh, big dummy. I've taken a lot of hits. Way more than I should have taken. Look at that. More than half of my health. He's an easy boss. Oh well. You've seen me do better. My says, right, Dio. Kind of weird when I first heard it, but I got used to it, I guess. What was weird? Oh, the voice. Right. From Captain N. Mega Man sounded like a frog on Captain N. Yeah. Yes, the, the real ridiculous character was Simon Belmont. He sounded so flamboyant. I don't think I've seen that. I don't think I've seen Simon in that, because I didn't really watch that show. I was too young for that show, I think. That dude would jump in that piece of armor if you didn't destroy him, so that's kind of cool, too. That they have moments like that. Come on, boy. Let's box. These things. These things are deadly when you're in this big suit. So you can't... Your attack is so far below where your head is where they're going to hit you. Ah. I don't think I can make this jump, can I? Oh, no, I can. <laughs> and last but not least, this guy. And then we are having to... We will have to get out. Uh, okay, let's see. Especially since can 5J get it and go through the world and be amazed. I don't know that I'm gonna, man. I think I'm gonna get the first Dark Souls and hit Switch, but I don't think 2 and 3 are gonna hit Switch. Uh, Dio says the real ridiculous character. Oh, I already read that one. My bad. Bill says family feud fail. Host, tell me a man's name that starts with the letter K. Person, Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, JD says J, since when did you know memes that are actually alive? When people are kind enough to enlighten me or I go look it up. Uh, Jesse Zaho says, hi, 5J. What's up, Jesse? Thank you so much for joining. Welcome back. Marsupial says, it's super effective. Yes. Pokemon speak. Dio says, except X8. Now, don't spoil it for me because I have not played X8. I was very, um, I was not a massive fan of X7, but but I didn't hate it like a lot of people seem to hate it. Um... I never got around to playing X8 at all. So I've never once played X8. I thought it was another fully 3D game. Turns out it's 2D gameplay with 3D graphics. And that sounds fine with me because Mega Man X is a, a 2D game, gameplay style. So I'm excited to try X8. I've never even booted it up yet. So I'm getting there. Don't spoil the boss for me. Um, let's see... Card Games Against Predacons says, Recently, the virtual console versions of the Battle Network ROMs got released on ROM sites for download. The only difference is that these versions have extra chips and bug fixes. That's interesting. Dio says, Nice, I need to play those. I love the Battle Network series. They are so good, man. JD says, You're so behind on chats, lol. Literally the last chat, so... I love that he always puts that in there right as I catch up. Besides, we were way farther behind earlier, and now we're, we were hardly behind at all. For safety, I'm going to pop one of these sub-tanks. I think you have to hit the Y button. Just to make sure we don't have to redo this part. What is he even weak against, actually? I think it's Sting Chameleon. Yeah, look at how much damage that does. I can do this and not get hit. I promise. Not very well. Oh, he's so toasted. Toasted? Toast. He's toast. JD says, J, play up for DS. No. Dio says, X8 is better. Better than X7? Is that what you're getting at there? Because I'd believe it. It was pretty difficult transitioning to a 3DX game as far as the gameplay has to change so much to go to 3D. 
So it's not not easy to do. Okay, we'll do this again, because these guys are annoying. There we go. I don't remember if there's one more mini boss in here or not. Boss is back. So what did I miss? Uh, gameplay. <laughs> I don't know. We're getting close to the end of the game, so we're getting close to the end game here. Excuse me. Marsupial says, I tried playing Mega Man 9 and 10 when they came out on Wii. Me too. Good stuff. Uh, and just couldn't get anywhere. I was way more patient with those games as a kid. Got through every NES Mega Man back then. Well, back in those games, or games, back in those days, you probably didn't have as much money to buy new games. You probably didn't have as many games. And uh, you kind of had to play the games that you had, whether you liked them or not. Like, Or like whether it was really hard or not, you're like, oh, I just got to keep playing. Just got to keep playing. So I feel like in general, it was easier to be more patient when we were kids. Dio says, Gigabolt Man O War stages is a joke, though. You basically load straight into the boss fight. I don't remember that one. Dio says, Chameleon Sting. Okay, I'm glad that I remembered that then. Marsupial says, I think AVGN uh, reviewed the 3D Mega Man X games. They looked terrible. JD says, if you make me a mod, I'll change my name to Mod Delzel. Rude says, please finish the game quick. It's almost midnight here and I need my sleep. But I'm going to stay up until you finish. It's not much longer. It is not much longer. As long as I don't take too long to beat Sigma, and I don't think I will, I did beat it recently, and I think I have the tactics down that I'll need to beat Sigma. So I don't think it'll be too late. So, not too much longer. Just one. Normally they reveal two of those eyeballs before switching back to this guy bouncing around. There we go. One of the eyeballs destroyed. His nose is going strong. And that red guy there. Revealed in the same spot twice. Three times. Ooh, we destroyed the eye, so now it's just this thing. It's gonna stop and then it's gonna keep going. Come on. Just one more hit. There we go. Bada bing. Uh, JD says maybe mod la bam. Lel. Uh, Potato says, hi, what's up, Potato? Real quick chances, I'm going to start playing Mega Man games after I've completed Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Where should I start? Ooh, man, Mighty Gun Gunvolt Burst is good. I mean, start where you want to start. It's tough. Uh, the old Mega Man games are probably harder than the X games. Except the end bosses in these games are probably harder than the end bosses in the Mega Man games. Hard to say. However, my favorite series are definitely the X games and the Zero games on Game Boy Advance. There was also a DS collection of all four of them. Also, there was ZX. Basically the same type of game. Also, two of those games on DS. Uh, the Battle Network games on GBA are very good. I even love Legends and Legends 2 on PlayStation 1. Um, boy, start anywhere, I guess. Whatever looks most interesting to you. They're all good. They're all good, which is so incredible. They've reinvented Mega Man so many times and been successful every time. Uh, Marsupial is true. I must have logged hundreds of hours in Mega Man games as a kid. Right. And, and you mean that literally. As a kid, you will actually log hundreds of hours into a game. Nowadays, if I get 100 hours in a game, just 100, that's a lot of hours nowadays because I have way more games, I have way less time, I want to experience more, and I have less time to experience it. So I just... Come on, look left, man. I just have to hurry up and move to the next game, it seems, all the time. Uh, Dio says, X8 feels so smooth compared to X7. Well, it's less taxing on the PS2. Uh, JD says, start with X7, Ryoko. <laughs> Don't do that. Card, Card Games against Predacon says, this makes me wonder if other virtual console ROMs will end up on the internet. Let's just hope Nintendo doesn't mind. Oh, they mind. 
they are, oh, they mind. We have chances, and I feel you, Jay. Not as many games then compared to now. I used to rent from Blockbuster, yes. And if I didn't complete a game over the weekend, well, that was just tough coconuts. <laughs> yes, or you had to rent it again. And if you didn't, if it wasn't one of your favorite games, you might not want to spend the money again. So there's a strong chance you didn't want to do that. Oh, I had the wrong power. I thought I had this equipped. And I thought I was going to, like, do this little shockwave thing. But nope. I did one hit there. Come on, stop your bouncing around. There we go. Uh, so she says, 5J, what is the most legendary item of all legendary items in every game you've played? I don't know, dude. It's such a vague question. I'm not even going to try and think about it. It's too much to consider. Bill said, Burb, uh, Dio says, Man of War is from X8. Got it, got it, got it. JD says, I spent 370 hours on Splatoon 2. Wow. Well, and you're a kid, so that's, uh, more proof right there. More proof. Uh, let's see. JD says, Jay, play the Splatfest tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna. Marsupial says, I got kids in a mortgage, lol. No time for long games. I got a mortgage, but I don't got kids yet. So, I have slightly more time, but, you know, lawn work and other sorts of things chores around the house. Real good chances I had Mega Man Zero died pretty early on, lol. My friend borrowed it and never gave it back because I died and sucked so badly I never picked up the series again. Well, the DS version has uh, an easier mode where it unlocks everything from the start. So you have like maximum health, you've got all these upgrade elves, elves, like they're like fairies, they're elves, um, and you have all the weapons fully maxed. Um, you have all the sub tanks and all that kind of stuff. Um, and um, it streamlines all four games together into a single story, which is the really cool part about playing it that way. It's faster, it's easier, and you get to go through all four games in a quick fashion. So I definitely recommend playing the DS version. So good stuff. Ah, oh, man, so many chats right now. I'm like, it's hard to catch up and then actually play the game here. I see this is always Splatfest coming. Yes, I guess so. Rude says, I heard Nintendo was just recently suing ROM sites for millions of dollars. Sounds like Nintendo. They very actively defend their property. JD says, I also spend 205 hours in Breath of the Wild. I think I'm only like 100, so twice as much as me. Rude says, they are, there are already six closed down this year. Ouch. JD says, yeah, tomorrow Splatfest is Squids versus Octopus. Uh, Bill says, Bill's back. What's up, Bill? Dio says, uh, zero was so hard. Uh, Marsupial says, I did play Breath of the Wild for a ridiculous amount of time, too. Uh, I'd have to look at what it is. Probably over 100 hours so far. Beat it in regular in hero mode. R uh, real good chances to Marsupial. I have neither of those things, but I still can't play long games. JRPDs, G's used to be my favorite thing, but I just can't play them anymore. I don't want to invest that time into a game. Bill's gone again. Okay, hi and bye, Bill. Marsupial says, to Ryoka-chan, it has to be a really great game. Breath of the Wild is the only one I spent that much time with recently. Maybe Dragon Quest Builders, though that's a pretty short game. IMO, maybe 50 hours. It's not a short game. Ryoka-chan says, there's just so many games out there, I can't afford to miss them by investing so much time grinding in the game just to finish the story. You do what you want to do. If you want to spend time grinding, great. If you don't, up to you. Hmm. All right, this guy's weakness is the boomerang. If you do it right, he won't even hit you that much, but so far, I guess I'm not doing it right. Ah, I should have dashed there. The spikes falling from the ceiling are the deadliest ones, man. It's hard to know where those are coming from. Uh, let's see, JD says the DS version for Up is the best. <laughs> Trust me, if you want to start playing DS, start with Up. Oh my. 
That's a big fat nope. JD's self-professed least favorite game. Okay. Ugh. Come on. Seriously, three times in a row? There you go. Gotcha. Uh, Ryoko Chan says to most marsupial gamer, I played Dragoon. Dragoon. Dragon Quest Builders for 55 hours and loved it for the building, and yeah, I think 85 hours in the Breath of the Wild, but they aren't JRPGs, so I, I didn't feel like I wasted my time. Ryoko chan if you can put 85 hours into a game, you can finish most of the JRPGs out there. You won't get every little side quest in there, but a, a lot of the stories are only 40, 60 hours long. If you're putting 55, 85 hours into a game, you could easily do all those JRPGs. Boy, I thought you were like, ah, oh, if it's not done in a dozen hours, I'm done. I'm out of here. That's a boatload of time in a game. You should be able to do it easy. I love how easy it is to spam this guy. Bob Blam. Danny's back. Welcome, Danny. JD says, Jay, how should you know? Up could be like Breath of the Wild for all you know. So wait, I should trust you before when you said it was your least favorite game ever and it was awful? Or I should trust you now when you're saying it's the best game ever? Either way, you uh, lied to me or you are lying to me. So, not sure I got a trustworthy source on this one. Go away. All right. Marsupius' last JRPG I beat was Final Fantasy VI, I think. Huge game, my favorite Final Fantasy. A lot of people feel that way. I have not beaten it myself. Maybe only put like 10 hours into it. Launch Octopus. Is his weakness the, um... The Vortex, the Storm Eagles, whatever this thing is called? It doesn't do a lot of damage, so I, I get the feeling it might not be. That's not it. That's obviously not it. We just faced the guy who was weak against that. It was Boomer who was weak against that thing. It was Storm Eagle. Maybe it's this. Ooh, that seems right. Ooh, yeah. I think he's weak against the rolling armadillo shield. Or the rolling shield. That's gotta be it. That's doing big chunks of damage. It's not the most effective... Like, um, some bosses, like, when they get hit by their weakness, they, like, freak out. He's not freaking out, but I still think it's the one that does the most damage. Bossy says, now I'm on Twitch! Noise. How's it over in Twitch land? Ryoko chances, what I mean is there's games that are worth putting that time into, but then there's some games that are just long for the sake of it. I think that's where modern JRPGs fall. Well, like, you're putting them all in a box. You think that no modern JRPG is is worth putting time into? I mean, that doesn't seem like a fair assessment. Let's see, I think... I'll use ice right here. One of my fa- Oh, what? I think we can ride this sled. We got an extra life at the very least. Leave me alone! Okay, that'll have to be good enough. JD says, Hey Jay, it's all subjective, isn't it? You taught me that. Yes, yes it is. It is all subjective. Uh, Roku Chances 6 is my favorite as well. I loved it to death as a kid. Okay, check this out, guys. I'm gonna cut his trunk off. There it is! He's trunkless! Now he's like a pig face. I don't, know, I don't even know if this is his actual weakness. But it cuts his trunk off and that's awesome. It's completely awesome. Honestly, at this point, I prefer to face him just with my X-Buster. Unless he does have some other weakness.
Yes, big fat chunks of damage. I love it. Woo! Over his head. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Dio confirms that it was indeed Rolling Shield. JD says, so if it's all subjective, then up could be like Breath of the Wild. Well, no. That is not subjective. <laughs> up being like Breath of the Wild is not where the subjective part comes in. Up being better than Breath of the Wild is where the subjective part comes in. The chances of it being similar to Breath of the Wild in more than just the most obtuse way seems very unlikely. Bosses of JRPG stands for Japanese role-playing game, right? Yes. Yes, it does. And I think it doesn't even necessarily stipulate that it has to be made in Japan. I think it's a reference to the style of RPG gameplay versus like a Western RPG, you know? Um, Skyrim, it's an RPG, but it's nothing like Final Fantasy, right? So games that are like Final Fantasy, those are JRPGs. And games that are like Skyrim, those are more Western RPGs. There's also strategy RPGs like Fire Emblem or Final Fantasy Tactics or um, Tactics Ogre? Battle Ogre. No, Tactics Ogre. I guess Battle Ogre is more of a traditional RPG or JRPG. Dio says you can cut off his tentacle with Boomerang Cutter. Yes, yes indeed. Real good chances, I swear I'm not switching accounts. Must be a glitch or something. Huh? What do you mean switching accounts? JD says, fun fact, I don't care how good it looks, I vowed never to play a game where THQ got their hands on it. <laughs> All right, then. Didn't THQ make that up game? All right, this is... Okay, this is a legit boss. This is uh, one we have not faced yet. Oh, what not he... He's weak against something. What? What is it? I think it might be this. Not sure, it doesn't seem to be that effective, honestly. Alright, tell you another thing we're gonna do. Pop one of these so we don't have to face this guy a second time. Whoa! So again, I think I prefer to face this guy just with my normal X-Buster. Uh-oh. He's starting to get weak. When he does that, he starts hitting those walls harder and more often. Ah, it's getting trickier. He's switching up his tactics more. Look at him. What a jerk. Alright, we gotta pop another one of these or we're dead. See? Look at me failing. I feel like the first time I faced this guy, I beat him without any extra sub-tanks. But ever since then, I seem to not know what I did that first time to beat him. And now, he takes more of my damage. Or take, he hurts me more than he has in the past. Dio says, Tornado. Oh, oops. JD says, similarities to Up. One, there are trees. Two, it's not in first person. Well, well, well. Dio says, Mammoth weakness is the tornado. Oh, is it really? Oh, okay, I've never tried that. Ryoko-chan says, I don't know who the other Ryoko-chan is. If there is another one, I don't know that there is. Ru, uh, first of all, let's take a screenshot of this in case anything happens. D D D. That's my only way to continue. Rude says, it's a shame, JD, you'll miss out on Dawn of War. It's great. JD says, Breath of the Wild is like up. No. See? That is... Completely obtuse. Just the smallest, basest of similarities. Doesn't count. Bossy says, my favorite JRPG series is Persona in Shin Megami Tensei. Ooh, yes. Great stuff, man. Hydra says, what's with the attitude, Chris? You know I'm a long-time sub. What? What? Ad I haven't even talked to you. What do you mean, attitude? Attitude. 
Is it Ryoko Chan? Is that Hydro kicking? I don't. I really don't understand what's happening. JD says I will get up two if they ever make one, though. I don't know why they would. They'd have to be up to the movie. Uh, Card Games says, I remember when the first Battle Network came out and everyone hated it because it was so different. Really? Dude, everyone I knew loved it. But one e one reason was because the game, because the first game was a really boring game with no balance. I guess I will say that I only had the second one. I didn't have the first one. I do now, but I didn't then. Actually, ironically, I don't have the second one now. As a kid, I sold it. Stupid kid. Rebecca Chan says, the girl in the profile picture looks... Cute for a start. I'm more like if you call my name three times in the bathroom mirror with a candle in the dark, I'll drag you down the toilet? What are you talking about? What is this? I'm being weird in here. Alright, so now, the secret here is to use this rolling shield because these little worms popping out of the side are going to charge up your E-Tanks, they're going to give you extra lives, they're going to charge all of your secondary weapons. So we're just going to sit here and do this for a while until everything is all full. Rude says, yep, THQ is bankrupt. Yep, yes they are. JD says, there are houses in Breath of the Wild, they're all on a Nintendo console. Oh, there are houses in Up and Breath of the Wild, oh I see. You're still going with your, they're the same game type thing. Well, Bosses says, I wish I could get Persona 2 and 3 on the PSP. Why not? They should still be on sale on the, uh, the PlayStation Store. And uh, I feel like they're probably not very expensive. PSP games are usually pretty cheap. JD says, but now they are THQ Nordic, though. Yep. Another company bought them and kept the name. Oh, this is weird. So, Mega Man X plays in 60 frames per second, but I'm streaming in 30 frames per second. And I'm looking over the stream. While I have the shield on, you can't actually see Mega Man in the stream. But in person, in 60 frames a second, you can see Mega Man in the middle of that shield. It has this, like, translucent effect by switching every other frame with the Mega Man sprite or the shield sprite. So interesting that you're only seeing the shield sprites. <laughs> by the way, this is the end. These are, these are the final fights. There are three stages of Sigma. Well, technically two stages of Sigma and one stage of his dog. Um... It's so weird. Uh, let's see. Scrub Kids is riveting gameplay. Well, you need it. This is the hardest series of fights in the whole game. So now that we're up to snuff, we got all the energy we could possibly need. We're going to actually fight. Oh, yeah. I just says, crazy, you guys. What's your favorite weapon? Hmm. JD says, the game is 90 frames? No. Marsupia says, hey, I got Metroid Samus Returns working on my PC. Looks fantastic in 1080p. Only issue, my Bluetooth controller is very old and doesn't have an analog stick. This aiming is kind of rough. Special says, has 5J played Doom 1? Yes, I have. Um, JD says, there is grass and up in Breath of the Wild. Oh. All right, guys, we're going to do these final fights. Probably not going to be able to read a lot of chats while I'm doing them. Welcome. I see you managed to get here by yourself. Very impressive. I could destroy you, but I would not rob my pet of that pleasure. He knows how to deal with betrayers. Technically, you're the betrayer, just saying. Should you live, I will be waiting for you. Don't disappoint me, X. Oh, I won't. So, I know he's speaking against Shotgun Ice, but I actually prefer to face him with just the Buster because 
The buster will actually knock him back, and the shotgun ice will not. And I think that's handy for the boss fight. Being able to knock him back is very useful. Keeps him at a distance. Oops. Chose the wrong time on that one. See, we're killing him, though. I have gotten through this part without taking any damage in the past, but so far it only looks like we're on that path. <laughs> as long as we're above half health, that's, that's a good round for me. I'm okay with that. There we go. But blam There goes Robodog. Then comes Sigma. Excellent job, J. J. X. Excellent job, X. I see why Zero counted on you. You're almost as good a hunter as I was. But the time of your destruction has arrived. You shall regret ever having defied me. Will I now? Is that a thing I'll do? Okay, this is the power we need. Uh, Dio Brando says, Hadouken is the dog's weakness. Oh, that's true. That is totally true. Uh, Rick of Chances, Marsupial, have you tried using the Switch Pro Controller on PC? That's what I do when I play games on Dolphin. Oh boy. Ryoko Chan is being weird. And I don't think that there are two accounts. I think Ryoko Chan is just being weird. And crossing some lines, so better be careful. Dio says, I want Disney fighting game Jafar versus Lightning McQueen. <laughs> The old man versus frozen. Special says, 5J, I made a sandwich. Processed lunch, meat, ham, pepperoni, salami, mustard, Parmesan cheese, the kind you sprinkle all over pasta. Mm -mm -mm. Sounds awesome. I am jealous. Okay, so you're right. Why don't we just try... I think I gotta go to my normal X-Buster, though. To do Hadouken. Hey, why is it not working? Seriously, what? I suddenly can't do it. I could not do the Hadoken. Down angle right. Okay, I do it first time outside of the battle. But I swear I've beaten him with Hadoken before. Oh man, now I gotta re-get all of those. Actually, I don't think I used a sub-tank, did I? Okay, then we only need a little bit of weapon ammo. JD, I've been asking for so long, you have no chance. Actually, Ryoko-chan stands a chance, because Ryoko-chan doesn't push the limit most of the time, until recently. It's been weird now, all of a sudden. All right. Let me see if I can find this other Ryoko-chan. There really are two different accounts here. How can they possibly be so similarly named? Oh my goodness. There's way too many search results. Not sure how to do it. Alright, I'm gonna try something. <laughs> JD, since when do I push the limit? How about that meme that you were trying to pull on me several times that you know is not appropriate for the channel? That's pushing the limit. I'm gonna try something. Aha! There is a second channel. It's been proven. 
There we go. So I first timed out the Ryoko-chan with a suspicious message. And it left the other Ryoko-chan with the non-suspicious messages. So then I just hid that account. So that account won't be able to be here anymore. Da -na -na -na. Ah, glad we solved that mystery. Okay. What are we doing? We have full weapon ammo. We need a little bit more e spark. It'll be full when we hear the special noise. I think. No, never mind. This is e tanks. Okay, we're definitely full though. Okay. I want to get the dog through Hadoken. And then hopefully Sigma Part 1. JD says, I feel like I'm a golden commenter, lol. And then says, um, yeah. Yeah, I figured it out. Bossy says, especially that game is harder than Doom. Which game? Oh, uh, can 5J sing a song about their struggle through this game? You must be talking about something else. I must have missed it. Dio says, Hadoken, you need full health. Oh, I did not know that. Very good chance. Says, Thanks, Jay. I appreciate it. I don't want my good name being tarnished and all. Exactly. Exactly. But nothing but a good viewer. IG says, have you seen the trailer to Dragon Ball Super movie Broly? I have not. And I haven't been watching Dragon Ball Super either. Okay, so we've done this. We'll get this done. We'll kill him. There we go. One hit. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Full health, baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm not reading most of these chats. There's way too much hostility happening around here. No, just, just drop it, guys. All of it can be dropped. Okay, I think... I'm going to want to jump away from him at first. Oh, he can block it? Oh, too late now. We got hurt. So now we got to fight him for real. Which means we need an e-spark. Oh, why did I do that? I've been getting better at his pattern, but now I'm like losing it. I'm really losing it. Oh, come on. What am I doing? It's not a hard pattern to figure out. Take I'm making so many mistakes there. I guess I was thrown through a loop by failing at my Hadoken. Oh, says, Jay, I was talking about Shadow Warrior. What? What's Shadow Warrior? I must have missed some chat somewhere. Oh, that maybe that was what I had said before I was missing. David's joining on Periscope. What up? Project Xbox One X consoles here. Thank you for watching. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Fail. Man, I recently played this game and I destroyed Stage 2 Sigma. Why am I struggling today? Don't know. Okay, I think that means we're full. We are. Of course, I'm also skipping out on using any of my um, sub tanks, which would also help. JD, it doesn't matter who starts what. If you push it too far, you push it too far. So, that's the end of it. I don't want to hear any more excuses. All right, dog boy, let's get dog boy. Ba 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 blam! Chelsea's back. What's up, Chelsea? How's it going? Use your sub tanks as card games, right? I was trying to get to uh, stage two Sigma without the sub tanks. Oh, already almost blew it. Ah, uh, nope, I did. 
I can't believe I've blown it already. Seriously? And when you get the pattern wrong at the onset, it changes the pattern for the rest of the fight. Actually, this isn't so bad. Nope, nope, I made it bad. Yep, I made it bad. I guess we could use a sub tank. Whatever. Final stage Sigma isn't really all that hard, I think, once you figured out his weakness, which is the rolling shield. So I think we'll be okay. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Project says, you are a funny face. I can make funny faces. JD says, hi, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea says, no, it's not, it's not too bad. It's hot here. 32 Celsius. Again, I have no idea how hot that is or isn't. Special says, 5J, what's the first and last thing you would want to falcon punch in your kitchen? These are random questions. Uh, I don't know. Intruders. <laughs> first and last every time. Uh, Rick Jan says, well, I'm glad that that's cleared up anyway. I don't mind people having a joke, but I don't like when people saying vulgar things if they're posing as me. Right, exactly. J.E. says, why was the building wielding Luke's green lightsaber? Right? It looks exactly like Luke's green lightsaber. I always felt like that. Lol. Xbox console just sending lots of smiley emotes. Ah. Fail. Fail, fail, fail. Why am I fail? There we go. Oh, not the fire breath. Oh, that's definitely time to heal. Fail, fail, fail. Nope. So lightning is the same attack from that one enemy we hated in Spark Mandrill's level. Okay, there's a good chance we're actually going to lose this one. Like I said, I like to do this with full E-Tanks. And I've only ever beaten this Sigma twice. So I'm far from amazing at this fight. Get, get on that! Ugh. I couldn't do my boost jump in time. I didn't have my hand in my special claw configuration to dash, jump, and shoot all at the same time. Alright, last E-Tank. If I can't do it now... It's over. There's a good chance it's over. Ooh, there's also a good chance we could maybe make it. Just need one more hit. Yes! That is all of Mega Man X, folks. Beginning to end. All of the upgrades, all the secrets, Hadoken, all the stuff. Oh, and we had something pop up. Maybe a new follower or something? Unsure. Unsure. No, it's not possible! I'm a Reploid! I can't be destroyed by you! Why, X? Why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my Reploid brothers could have ushered in a new age! Yeah, see ya, Sigma. Crashes into the sea and explodes. Sal says, how long have you been alive? Uh, three and a half hours. Three and a half hours, so quite a while. Record chances, I always appreciate the regulars. I look forward to seeing everyone in the chats. Kind of worried because I haven't seen Simon for a while. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. I hope it's because, or not because... He's spending way too much time making a 10 second jingle I asked him for. 10 seconds, man. I hope you're not spending 100 hours giving me some crazy ridiculous thing. Oh. <clears throat> the war has ended for now and peace has been restored. 
but those who sacrificed themselves for the victory will never return. And, well, except for Zero, of course. Because <laughs> they thought, nah, he's too cool, we gotta bring him back. Exhausted, X gazes at the destruction he helped cause, and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? Standing on the cliff, the answers seem to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. How long will he keep on fighting? How long will his pain last? Maybe only the X-Buster on his hand knows for sure. Why would his hand gun work know this? I don't think that was as profound there as they wanted it to be. A little bit corny here, but it's going to get even cornier. Just you wait. It's going to get more corny. Da da Now they do credits, but it's not actual people. They're showing you the credits of the enemies in the game. Raybit, Tom Bot, Bomb Ben, Armor Soldier, Snow Shooter, The Power Plant Stage, Gun Volt, Hotarian, Flamingle, Turn Cannon. How corny is this? They're giving credits to the fake? Oh. So yeah, that's that's even cornier. Even more corny. Whoo baby, we done it. Alright, let's check some chats we might have missed here. So says, oh, you just beat it. Yes, I did. Uh Scrub says hype! More super says nice! J E says good job, 5J. Thank you so much. Chelsea says, nice, right on. Thanks, Chelsea. Project says, that face, man. Lol, lol, lol. Uh, Spatchhead says, 5J, when I vanish, it's because I'm watching other games or playing my own. No problem. It's pretty common. Sal says, I'm having... I'm glad to have been here in the beginning and the end. Yeah, there you go. Also, just missing the stream in general. Sal says, I only missed the middle of the stream. Spatchhead says, 5J, that's because the handgun is the real villain in all this. That's true. Violence, man. It's never the answer. Makes for a fun video game, though, doesn't it? Uh, Spatchhead says, What channel is the sheep emoji from? It's cute. <laughs> JD says, Look at, Castleven at the Castlevania 2 credits. Oh, I haven't seen those. Well, out of respect for the game, I will have the whole credits play. Because they did a great job. And we'll give them credit. Because there's real credits coming after this. Yeah! Then it zooms in on our hero. And how cool does he look? And you as Mega Man X. Oh, I'm in the credits. I am in the credits right now. That is so nice. Thank you so much, Capcom. There's actually a smidgen more left, actually, uh, of the story after the credits, anyway. So these are the real credits, but they don't give them their full names. Icky. Tatsunoko. Ripa, HK, Eka, Iriko, Bandy. Like, these people don't even get full credit. In these days, man, developers did not get the kind of uh, credit they deserved. So this is from eh, Saturday Live or something. What? Oh, you're talking about the sheep emoji where it comes from. Card Game says, and the sad thing is this game is infinitely better than X6. Ooh, I like X6. X4 and 6 I loved. I don't have much experience with 5 or 2 or 3. 7 was okay. Um, I didn't hate it as much as most people do. And I've never played 8. So, I want to go through all of them. I want to go through all of them. It won't be like this, where I do it all in one sitting. Because I don't know those games nearly as well as I know this game. But, I do want to go through all of them. Salad says, you do need to sub to her, which is like 6 or 7 bucks. Ooh. JD says, make a P.O. box. Oh yeah, you still want to send me up, I know. You're, you've just been waiting for that. Project says, so funny, I like it. Well, I'm glad you like the channel. Uh, Dio says, this burning grip of mine tells me to defeat you. What? 
IG says, I put the Dragon Ball Super movie trailer on Discord. Oh, nice. All right, there's a little bit more story right here. <gasps> He's not dead? You have won a temporary victory, X. What you destroyed was only a temporary body. My spirit remains intact. He's a robot. He has a spirit. In time, I will find an other bodies strong enough to do my bidding, and I will return. I shall see you soon, X. Very soon. <laughs> he actually doesn't laugh there, but I thought it was appropriate to have one, so he chucked it in there. Slept this is, but yeah, if I watch and maybe get lucky and get a free sub or Twitch Prime, just saying, get Twitch Prime. Jay says Batman Mask of the Phantasm came out in 1993. I wonder how it is. I don't know. Bossy says, I want to see Mr. Beast come to this stream. I have no idea who that is. Rude says, funny detail, you finished the game exactly at midnight from my point of view. Oh, yeah. I suppose it would be. Yoda Kid says, same. Spatula says, what can 5G do with this sh uh, the sharp, spiky side of a cheese grater? Great cheese. Solid says, Twitch Prime gets you free subs. That's true. And you could spend that free sub on me. I happen to be an affiliate. Just saying. Uh, JD said, pretend that I am beyond and give me your address. <laughs> true story project says i like you channel is so funny thanks project all right guys that is the for real end of the game it is actually over now you are all the best um i don't think i'm going to do any other streams tonight unfortunately this did last a little bit longer than i thought it would looks like it's about three and a half hours um so tomorrow i can either do like two short streams of Earthbound and Super Mario RPG, or I can do one of those games for a full two hours. So I'm not sure which one I want to do yet, but uh, I do have a family event tomorrow night, so I won't have enough time to do two full-length streams, unfortunately. Anyways, guys, you're all the best, and uh, I hope to see you guys next time. So see you tomorrow. Thanks for coming.